What's up, Canada? Good morning. It is day six of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. We are in southern Alberta, Calgary, for the coverage on TSA. It is our home for the next couple of months, Canada Olympic Park, Windsport Arena. 18 teams started the journey to try win a Scotty's championship in this curling bubble, and all teams trying to stay alive and make that championship round. Now, as we get you up to date on some scores, last night, Team Tracy Fleury skipped by Chelsea Carey, winning by four over Suzanne Burtz. What a day for Corinne Brown. She was awesome in our feature yesterday morning, and another win last night, 10 to one. She made the championship round last year, trying to do it again. Lori St. George, tough one. She was in a great close match with Sherry Anderson, but the veteran winning 9-6. And Melissa Adams getting another win, 9-8. So we know that two teams have qualified for that championship round already. Holman, Anderson. Meantime, in Pool B, of all those teams, Lori Eddy, the only one officially out. So still a chance to stay alive and make that championship round of eight. Come on inside, Winsport Arena. Glad you're watching our morning coverage on TSN. Brian Mudrick joined by three-time Scotty's champion, Kathy Gauthier. All right, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. It's a day that ends in Y. But why, in your opinion, is this day important this year at the Scotties? Well, we saw Pool B, Brian. It's so congested. So many teams. Wednesday's the day that we start to see those that are going to move to championship pool separate themselves from the field. The key is moving ahead with a record that can get you in the top three. Let's begin with Rachel Holman, eighth appearance at the Scotties. She's been to five finals. She's won it three times, undefeated here. Lots to be impressed with, Rachel Holman. But what has stood out to you specifically this year? Well, so much talk about Rachel Holman coming into this event eight months pregnant. We know she's a great talent, but didn't have the chance to let herself throw with her body growing as it has. No changes for Rachel Holman, still at the top of the leaderboard amongst all skips. Chatted with her last night and she said her energy is still fantastic and she's playing so well. Carrie Galusha, a two and three record coming in. If she wants to make the championship round, she basically has to win. So she's beat Team Canada three times in her career here. I know, I get it, Holman's not Team Canada, but maybe she's got to pretend she is this morning. Well, for Carrie, it's really interesting when you look at the numbers. It is an up and down mountain range in the 50s. Then she plays in the 80s, then she plays in the 50s. The only good news for Carrie Galusha this morning is she's coming off a 53% performance, looking for that rebound 80. Well, we are in Calgary near the Rocky Mountains, so she's got a mountain to climb, a tough competitor in Rachel Holman, as you see the Bull River here in Calgary, and of course the beautiful Rocky Mountains in the distance. Our feature and first rock coming up next. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by New Holland. Proud sponsor of Curling Canada by OK Tire and BKT Tires by Scotty's, Sponge Towels, Purex and Cashmere. Proud sponsors of the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts for 40 years and by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. Same thing here again. Get it to the far take it now. It sucks to lose, obviously, but you learn from those mistakes and you learn from scenarios and things that come up. That's the amazing thing about curling is that no two games are the same and so you just uh, continue to take those lessons forward and hopefully we can do the same again this week and hopefully a different result. When we play a lot of the top teams, even though they know who I am, we're still the underdog. I still think people do take us a bit lightly and maybe they shouldn't because we can play just as well as anyone else. And I'm really excited to play Rachel Holman. We're excited to play them. And there she is, Kerry Galusha, trying to keep her championship round hopes alive, taking on the three-time Scotty's champ undefeated. Thus far, it is time to meet the teams. Brought to you by Home Hardware, here's how. And we begin with Team Ontario out of the Ottawa Curling Club. Your skip is Rachel Holman, third Emma Miskew, second Sarah Wilkes, and at lead, Joanne Courtney. And Team Northwest Territories out of the Yellowknife Curling Center. Your skip, Gary Galusha, third Joanne Rizzo, second Margot Fleming, and at lead, Shona Barber. 
Excited to get underway. Day six, Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. In our morning coverage, there's your rock colors, Ontario red, Northwest Territories yellow. And it was Team Rachel Holman winning the two draws to the button this morning, the new wrinkle in the format this year. As Kerry Galusha can't afford another loss as you check the standings. Obviously, Wednesday, a lot of things will continue to ramp up with the championship round beginning on Friday. And as for Rachel Holman, what a start undefeated. She was 13-0 in Montreal back in 2014. She ran the table. That's the last time a team has gone Felt undefeated like to win a Scotties. As we are officially underway, lead stones from Shona Barber. So, Kathy, if you're Carrie Galusha, you heard her comments just before this game. Sometimes they are the Rod Rodney Dangerfield, right? The no respect, but I think that Rachel Holman knows better. She she knows Kerry Galusha, and this is a tough team. I think actually most teams know Kerry Galusha. Kerry has proven herself and doesn't need to do that anymore, that she is a fierce competitor. She can make a lot of shots. It is just the consistency factor for Kerry and her team that has always been a challenge. And when we talked about it in the opening, that's what we're seeing. She In an 86% game, she's going to be really tough to beat. In a 53% game, it's not as difficult. With the departure of Lisa Weagle, Joanne Courtney moving down, throwing lead stones for Rachel Holman. Thanks, Joe. Okay, tight three. And Shona Barber actually was not even expecting to curl this season, came out of retirement because Sarah Colton, who normally plays on this team, is in med school. And for Sarah, like a lot of the players, had to make a very tough decision to not come to this bubble. She decided that she had to stick with the school plan. And so here's Shona out of retirement and throwing rocks at a Scotties once again. Well, it's somebody that Carrie knows really well. I agree. How she throws, what her antics are like on the ice, that what does she do when she's up or down. And so that's a comfort for Carrie in bringing in a new player, if you will. This lady's so consistent at the Scotties, Joanne Courtney. She's found the podium, Kathy, in every single Scotties appearance, including the first time we saw her. And that was in Montreal. And that was the year that Rachel Holman ran the table, and she lost that final to Rachel as she played with Val Sweeting in that final the and then joined the team the following year. Go, go, go. All the way over. Good. Nice shot. Well, the bringing it in, they went around that center guard, but because it's so long and the finish is so hard, Rachel was making the call to try to keep sweeping yeah. to get it buried around the corner. I don't mind this either. Yeah. Okay. There's a good chunk of it available. Hair, hair slower this way, eh? Yep. But you can see you'd almost have to play the out turn at it. The intern, that long guard might get in your way. And so for now, Carrie will try to get in there better. Yes, Chappie. I thought it was good, Joe. Whoa. You got to go. Got to go. Have a look. It's running. Just here. Yeah, it's right, the, right oh, there. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hard And there's that great finish, Brian. They were saying finish it, and they didn't. They just left it alone, and it finished itself. Carry, 14-3. Speed, maybe a little slow here. Kind of no man's land. Maybe a little. Okay. Yeah, Good I think board. you can take her board. board. Yeah. So the new addition on the team, board. fourth yeah. Scotties yeah. for Sarah Wilkes. She. Won a title in 2019 with Chelsea Carey, beating Rachel Holman. She was the third on that squad and throwing second stones here for Team Ontario this year. Uh, great brushing to keep that straight and get it by the guard. We talked about Carey already, about that up and down motion. Needs to take that upward tilt. We talked about her 86 and 78 games, but yet last game was 53. And Rizzo Rise... Well, Joanne's shot in the 60s in the last three games, and so goes Joanne, so goes Carrie, because it is whoa, about the difficulty whoa, whoa, whoa. of shots that may be left. No. 9-5. Maybe no. up. Oh, pretty good. No, Joe. We're on the front, so. Oh. Okay. 
Shooter spills out and pretty active striking bands on these stones. Well, this is such a great team right through the order, but it is Emma Miskew that is ninth right now amongst all thirds. It's a bit of a surprise. So looking to see Emma rise to the occasion and tight guards wanting to make sure that if the stones are closer to the house, you don't get into some trouble because the more debris out front, the more that leads to an advantage for the Northwest Territories. Keys to the game brought to you by Cashmere Bath and Tissue. Seven. Nothing feels like You'll Cashmere. Down, um, yep, 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 hard. Grabbing. <sighs> Gotta go. Really hard. Hurt. <laughs> Gotta bounce off. <laughs> Gotta bounce off. You hear the effort there from Joanne Courtney in one of her comments to the media after a game. She's one of the best sweepers in the world. Man or woman, she's fantastic, works so hard at her craft, but even she said she hopes there was no injuries this week because game sweeping is just so different than just trying to practice and getting up to speed. It is for sure. These teams have been working out in the gyms in their basement or wherever they can. And so it's not a fitness factor, and you can be doing weights, but you're not emulating the strength that you need and the action that you need for sweeping. And her concern about injuries is just you're going from zero to 80 on brushing, and that's tough for muscles that aren't used to doing that. His shot. And these two have been like friends <laughs> and teammates for a long time. I'm just worried through the hole. I don't want to jam. Okay, okay. Okay. Like if you, can you see three quarters? Uh, two thirds. So that's what we need to hit that. Make sure that we, okay. Normal. Final communication there before Emma throws. Emma Miskew and Rachel Homan. As Miskew in her eighth, Scotty's appearance, all of them with Rachel Holman. Normal. Normal. Please, no, no. And I'm betting by the yeah. end of the week that Whoa. those oh, numbers oh. will likely Sarah. move up the ranks a bit. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, Sarah. Oh, Sorry, and a I'm tough one there. Throw. Really thought it would go. Yeah, I did too. Well, that's not the guard that they were hoping that that's they would crash one. on if any of them. With Last Rock Advantage, if you happen to tick the center one, you not only open up the opponent's stone, but you leave Come your bit. corner guard to protect. I don't mind this, though. I like that hit. I like the hit. Board. And now you have an opportunity, Thank Carrie Galusha does, yeah. to get in there and remove right, that we'll stone go. belonging to yeah, Ontario. Okay. Sorry, that was my old board, but um, signal. Yeah. <laughs> Nine five, right? Yeah. yeah. Joanne Rizzo in her second Scotty's appearance. Look at that hit and good flip deal. behind cover. Very nice. Actually got a good weight on that. Nine seven. Okay. We're looking at the battle of the thirds this yeah, morning, talking good. about nice. Joanne coming off a couple of 60% games. What a great way to start your morning, making a great hit and roll and putting pressure back on your opponent, opposing third. Emma celebrating a birthday earlier this month, back on February the 14th, right as teams yes, entered oh, the no. bubble here in Calgary. Yes! And she'll jam it on the back yellow. Came down a little? Yeah, it did. Okay. As soon as it curled. Okay. Pretty well, good. you can hear them when they're sweeping. Okay. Putting so curls. many Pretty pounds curls. per square <laughs> inch on that brush head. Hard. So, so good. Go. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, I know. How much has sweeping changed, Kathy, well, since like you played three-time Scotty's champ as a front end player? Well, so much we know now that we didn't know then about directional sweeping and the push movement versus the pull and, and how you can straighten a stone or direct it. We used to just sweep one on either side and hope that it would balance it out, but we're two on one side. But we've so learned so A much that. about fabric yeah. and yeah. Yeah. what you're using. Like, we no longer yeah. see hog hairs out there or horse hair brushes. Yeah, you never, you 
the whole goal of sweeping is to make a rock go further. It is never about trying to manipulate in any way, and people weren't doing it at the time intentionally, but we certainly have had studies now. It's, uh, it is remarkable how far this game has progressed in a scientific way. Last night, Kerry Galusha passing four, Heather Strong for most games played as a skip here at the Scotty. She's now third all-time behind a couple of pretty good Joneses in Colleen and Jennifer. Four foot. Finish it. Four foot. Get ready, Margo, just in case. Get no, ready. it's deep. It's four foot. Oh, not too deep. Oh, okay. No, 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 not at all. Good. Very nice shot. Sorry, it looks like it's coming down. Okay. Should we line it up? Sorry? Should we line it up? I really liked your slide and the time. Did it run here like for a while? Yeah, yeah. yeah. forever. And then I was like, finished it. And then I so lots of pressure on Rachel Homan. Cannot see the entire stone. Just a little bit tucked underneath. Oh, I had like three inches of ice for you. Oh, sorry, that's where you put the broom. How much weight are you throwing? Down normal. Okay, okay. I think the speed will maintain. It's amazing since this team came on the scene. Obviously, Rachel Emma together the entire time. She's found the podium every single year at the Scotties, except her rookie year in Charlottetown back in 2011. And now her eighth Scotties appearance here for Rachel Homan. No, no, Sarah. Sarah. Her first here in one. Tap, 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 and shooter rolls over a bit. Still shot stone, Kerry Galusha. So close. So close. Good throw. Close. Yeah, real close. I still think you could. Okay. You just saw mine. Yeah. I was just 9'5", though. Just yeah, I'll need a little more weight, yeah. like here. So it's a bit thin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to do that either, and then knock them in. Right. I think it is. Yeah, that's good too. I think that's better. Okay. Although, yeah, you're right. She just seven eights available of this stone. So Unless looking to make the it. double. I don't but think so. That's a little there. scary. Let's try this. And the coming on the top, I, I, I agree with Carrie. It is scary. Joanne offering the option of playing the draw back down around to where she was. If she makes it perfectly, that's fine. If not, you're looking at the potential of giving I'm up three. Double. It's pretty thin, but yeah. I like it. Yeah. I can't really guard. And Even I can't the really hit roll, then she just has a tap. Yeah. Okay. This is going to go. Yeah. yeah. What's what your weight call? Peel. Okay. okay. I like it. Let's go. Got it. Over the heart. Galusha comes in this morning, that two and three record. Has never had a winning record at the Scotty. She was five and six at St. Catharines back in 2017. Two and five last year in Moose Jaw and really cannot afford another loss. Very what a nice. shot. Nice double, Carrie Galusha. And rolls it perfectly under cover. That's how you start a must win game here at the Scotties. A big intern. Yeah. Excellent. Got to the broom. Well, you talked about that momentum and consistency. Coming off a tough game in her last game. What a great start this morning in her feature. Well, two great shots yeah. by Carrie Galusha. First, the very precise draw, and then that, the double we and the roll behind. Right mm -hmm. Forcing Rachel Homan to get to the hearts on her very first end. Feel wide, so that means. Similar path is draw to the button. Path will be worn down and game ready. And look at that stat. They've been pretty efficient with the hammer as Rachel Holman needs a great draw here. The intern on the way, final stone here in one. Stay with it. Are we on it? Yep. 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 Over there. Over there. Nice week, guys. 81% on draws this week. You can Wonderful. move that up the rankings. What a lovely touch shot early from Rachel Holman. Drawing against two. Right on the hearts. 
as Ontario leads here in Calgary. Welcome back inside Windsport Arena. Our Scotty's coverage continuing. Day six and a nice draw there from Rachel Holman. Up against two and she came through. Finding the hearts. So here in the second end it is Team Northwest Territories with Hammer throwing the yellow stones. And Joanne Courtney with her second in this end. Top button. So it is a critical Wednesday morning for all these teams trying to find their way into the top eight. And there are the matchups. Northern Ontario taking on Team Wildcard. Beth Peterson out of Manitoba. Zacharias and Jill Brothers. Meantime, our feature, obviously, you know it. It's Ontario Northwest Territories and Yukon Team Canada. We know Carrie Anderson has already qualified for the championship round. And Laura Eby has officially been eliminated. Hard, girls. Be top four. Hard, hard, hard. Well, the two undefeated teams in this pool are side by each. We are on sheet C. Carrie Anderson next door on sheet D. And there will be a couple of glances over, I'm sure. Well, that is a great segue, Kathy. So we'll update you right now. On sheet D, E.B. Anderson, and some pressure applied early on from the skip from the White Horse Curling Club. Final stone from Carrie Anderson. Well, she's playing the double. If she's able to make it, it brings another stone into play. This would be for two. Mayor, final scrub, bang it. Oh, and she drives it by. So a steal for Laura Eby. And that is her fourth steal over the last two games. Mojo. Don't want to be ready. Lights okay. And five. Three. Round. Three. Clean it. You can't go around. Three, four. Oh, yeah, it's there. It's just got to sit. We're four, five. Yeah. It's five, six. It's curl, baby. Curl, 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 curl. Okay. Hey. Trying to take access away from that shot stone and even though it's a little bit heavier than they wanted, it is locked okay. on a corner, so no straight run back for Carrie and the team. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Not looking very good right now. Okay. Straight peel, Margo. Good with it, Shona. Okay. Take it. Yeah. <clears throat> Another update for you on sheet B, and you can see it is Jill Brothers lying two around the forefoot, one to come from wildcard team two. Skipped by Mackenzie Zacharias, and what a wonderful junior career they had. Canadian nice champion, guys. world champion, their third Carly Berger. She's Carly having a great Scotties as well, but you look at her percentages. Final stone Let's on the go. way. Well, Mackenzie needs the forefoot, and this has not been the part of her Can't game that has been the struggle. Take it has been icing for herself, throwing a lot of rotation yep, and yep, not yep, getting the yep, results yep. that they had hoped for. And as usual, her draw weight is very good. That's a single. So the world junior champ, a nice draw. Carly Burgess, by the way, what, three world titles with three different skips, correct? That's, yes. that's insane. Well, she started with Mary Fay, and then she went to Caitlin Jones, and then moved to Manitoba's province to play in her final year of juniors and won with Mackenzie. That didn't curl up like she should have. It was a pretty good throw. Okay. And it was only normal. Okay. okay. Uh, was my 9-5 okay last end? Yep. Perfect. And here's your chance to get out of this a little bit. You can get a bit of a roll. Down. Yep. Yep. Margo making yep. her Scotty's yep. debut. Hard. 10. Yeah, hard to hard. Straight. Other way. One of 27 Ticket. competitors Hard for a piece. competing in this championship for the first time. That was really down. And she'll spill the shooter. So up north, she's a PhD student, Kathy. She's researching the use of satellite observations for snow monitoring up in north and doing environmental work and loves it so much up there. She's planning to move up to Yellowknife full time. Yeah, copy. Yeah. And it's staggered. It is a beautiful part of the country. I like that. Yeah. I don't know how you get there. Yeah, probably 
So I have to throw 11. Even if I high side it. Yeah. I mean, even if you nose it. Yeah. 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 That place. Okay. Um, up to speed. Yeah. This through. is the same line as me. Okay. You're looking for like 11. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Trying to split oh, that front yeah, stone in. Want to nice. make sure that they don't leave that stagger. If Kerry Galusha goes around there now back to the offense for Team Holman and trying to get it out. But if they're able to split the stones, not only would lie three, but would take away any guard opportunity for Kerry Galusha to get behind. Update time as this rock settles, little tap. That redstone settles top eight. Krista Burns. Mine's good. You're out her there. final All stone you. over on she eight, taking on Beth Peterson, team All wild card. And she needs All a great draw here. Balls. Would love the hearts. Well, she needs full four foot for sure. It's against three. Krista Burns playing with Megan Smith, Sarah Guy, Amanda Gates. And a girl. And it will. Hang on, back four, so a nice draw. <laughs> this is the worst, like two and three. <laughs> Some tense moments, but a single on the board as Northern Ontario leads. Well, we've already seen some really nice draws this morning. The ice is now settled in as much as the players okay. are. It just takes a few days for everyone to feel comfortable, and you got to remember as well that these players were coming off not having played a whole lot. There have always been teams coming into these events that have played more than others. Everyone came in as pretty much equal footing because even the provinces that did have a little bit of a play down they tended to be smaller and they did not have the opportunity to compete in Bondsfields yeah, to get ready Close, yeah. and that was the same for team ontario has no provincial play downs as emma will hit and stick and it was a challenge for a lot of these teams not having maybe ice open or Good wait. You know, yeah. you look at this Ontario team, for example, Rachel living in St. Paul, Alberta. Emma out in Ottawa. And a new member on the team, Sarah Wilkes, but obviously they know Sarah very well. They grew up together, played juniors against each other. She was pretty honest too. She said, you know, the team had been together for 10 plus years and teams change all the time. And basically the reason Rachel here. telling me for the lineup change, everyone is trying to put the best lineup together. That's the best team for Canada. And it's really become a bit of a business in trying to compete against the best in the world and bring your best effort. The ultimate, obviously, nugget is getting to the Olympic Games. And sometimes teams just need a change. We see it happen in all sports at all times as people try to juggle lineups and bring in different talents that will help the team. It doesn't mean that the person that left isn't a talent. It just means that maybe you're looking for something a little bit different. And I think it's talked about a lot more in the curling circle because it's such a small unit of four. And when you've been together for a long time, I think people assume that you will just stay together, but that's not necessarily correct. And it's not necessarily the right thing to do either. Nose hit for Rachel. <laughs> Every time. Okay, your shot's too big. Yeah, just a little up. Yeah, but it's not curling. Not okay. Curling quieter, and it really went. You called it super early. Yeah. You like the center line? Yep. Okay, like you can. I don't mind normal. Sure. So for Kerry Galusha, needs to make this double, but came off two great shots in the first end. She wrapped on her first one to get shot and then when given an opportunity to get a big chunk of a stone and make a double and force Rachel Holman makes the perfect one rolling behind and forcing a draw to the hearts. The key shot brought to you by OK Tire Service Repair and Tires. Okay, let's make it. Let's go. Needs to hit it on the outside, may lose her shooter in the process of making the double. Yeah. Oh. Yes! Nine. Whoa! Nine! Whoa! Nine! Whoa! Close! Whoa! Curl! 
Got to curl up. That's good. But gets good the time, two reds going, spills the shooter. I'm used to mine going. <laughs> Sorry. Very nice, Carrie. I like that. I don't think you could have made the double and stuck. Sorry, Joe. You think it's got to eat? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll try that. No man's land, right? Yeah. Similar? I think so. It might might be. I, I was thinking a little less. Let's check in next door once again. It is UConn and Team Canada. And again, some good pressure by Laura Eby this morning on the defending champs. Every time we've checked in, it's early, I know, but She's second end in a row. Yeah, she's been facing two, and this is not a, that difficult of a shot for Carrie Anderson, the nose hit, but it's still going to be the force. And they've been scrubbing it hard the entire way. My goodness, right wow. by. So she stole one in the first. She steals two more in the second. And just like that, Laura Eby up 3 nothing. Did I leave? Yeah, your way was good. 10-3. Well, the good shot by Carrie Galusha to get rid of both of those home and stones, but in rolling out gives Rachel the opportunity to tuck behind the corner guard. It's not a it's no line at all. Hard, Joe. Hard, it's trying. Come on. All the way back, as far as you can take it. Go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Trying to get Hard. it to finish, even just to force carry near that other stone. And wide open here for Carrie Galusha, so the blank attempt to come. This is going to take a middle. Hindsight. <laughs> a great weight by sure Rachel. It just did not get the movement that she was anticipating at all. You know, a lot of sacrifices for a lot of players to come and compete and chase their Scotty's dream. For example, Carrie Galusha, she's booked an Airbnb when she gets back home for two weeks because she can't quarantine at home. Otherwise, her husband and daughter would have to also quarantine. They would. She's a finance officer for the Department of Justice, so she can do some work with the laptop. Just one of many stories from a lot of the athletes here in this COVID world this year. Yeah, Final stone Morris. in two. Yes, yes, clean, clean. Yeah, Looking for the blank. Yeah, clean to clean. Good. Mission accomplished. Good. Well thrown. So Carrie Galusha. Makes that redstone go away. She will have hammer when we come back to Calgary. As our Scotty's coverage continues here on TSN. Wednesday morning at the Scotties in our feature, a blank on the board in that second end. So Carrie Galusha with hammer here in three. Scotty's champion this year. Of course, earns a berth into the Tim Hortons curling trials in Saskatoon later mm. this year. We know that Holman, Anderson, Fleury, Jones are already in. Also get $100,000 to the winner this year, $60,000 okay, for second yeah, place. Yeah, go, Margo. Coming down now. Yep. Yep, get it by. And you have to win it if one no, of those no, four teams doesn't. Sorry, they don't count back to the fifth place team. It doesn't go that way. If you are they eligible for a berth and you win the Scotties, you get it. If not, Control. they will utilize CTRS. I don't mind it. Yeah. If, if it hangs, it's fine. That's what I was thinking. I don't think it's going to, though. Okay. Whew, well, a great start there. by okay. Carrie Galusha. Four for four yeah. on some pretty tough shots. Blank the easiest of them. Sorry, Muds. No worries. 30-year-old Sarah Wilkes. This team, Kathy, yeah, a few yeah, exhibition yeah, yeah. games with whoa, Sarah, whoa, obviously whoa, the new member. Control. One of many teams that played in Okotoks here in Alberta, and then the event was shut down mid-event. And then she'll hit and stick around. They got together and trained a little bit as a team early on before things got bad. And then, of course, COVID shut things down again. So it was up to every player, some individual practicing, a lot of Zoom calls. I think everybody Zoomed out this year. Yes. Well, Sarah did say something really okay. interesting when I talked to her the other day. She said, I'm not okay. even going to pretend I wasn't I nervous coming it. in here. Okay. Of course I was. And she does a lot of self-talk about, okay, this here. is a team that came after me. And so I have a lot to contribute. I can 
make a difference on this team. But it's pretty daunting coming into this with a team that has such great success at a Scotty's. And at least they, they knew each other for years, yeah. obviously, too, back home in Ontario. It wasn't like she's a new face where, you know, you hear the story of a Brittany Tran who comes onto a team and it's like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. And my name is. I can't even shake your hand because it's a, well, obviously they can, but you know what I'm saying, right? It's like, all right, let's go play. That was yeah. fair. But no better way to get to know your new so teammates than this six. year in the bubble so because you got six. nothing but time with the that's top button. strict okay. restrictions that same way facing through. the players this, this year with COVID. Yeah. Okay. This is my draw. Yeah, keep it there. Trying to get around that center guard. You heard Rachel say this is my draw path, so they know exactly what it does. Seven. Okay. Oh, he's got to sit here. Gonna over curl. Okay, gotta go. We need like top button, guys. We can't be higher. Yep, yep, yep. A really nice shot for Sarah. We talked about how she's fit in, and I took a look at the numbers overall, comparing now positions of this home and team. So the first column is their percentage over the course of the games that they've played. Their plus or minus, how many times when you are competing against somebody at level, do you outshoot them by 5% or more? And then the rank amongst all players. The surprising one, probably Emma Miskew. We talked about that in the opening, such a strong player. Expect her numbers to go up. And Joanne Courtney, first time out here as a lead, she's doing just fine. Sorry, Margo. Just gets the one, so an open shot. Home and team winning their yep, Scotty yep, is yep. the one in Montreal, Kingston their first in their home Hard. province, and then St. <laughs> Catharines. Yeah, Emma and Rachel, go, some go, good success go, in Alberta go. at the Canada Cup, though, go. winning in Leduc, which Spot. is just up the highway in Grand Prairie as well. I think we'd see my interns. No? Okay. I think it's a three. And then I got rid of it. Throw here. Well, for Carrie, the more important thing on this shot with Joanne is the roll under. If you make the double, you make the double. But Whoa, at this point, it looks like you Close. may be forced. So Whoa. if you can get a good Close. roll, maybe there's yeah. going to be an opportunity yeah. to even get two out of this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shooter that rolls works. to a pretty good spot. Very nice. You'll remember, too, Rizzo played in a few Canada Cups with Sherry Madaw. And was on that Madaw team no, that lost man. the Olympic Curling Trials final in Winnipeg to Jennifer Jones back in 2013. If I, okay. if I stuff it, I think we're shot. Yep, yep. Should come up a If hair. you stuff it, we're shot. Okay, okay, you got it, Em. Confirming. Sarah's control. Like, we were able to manage it. Okay, nothing crazy. Just a touch of curl, probably. Yep, you got it. Just missing the yellow. Top eight. Throwing it better. Wow. It moved a surprising bit with that kind of weight. I got on it when we were hitting high. Yeah, I know. So they are surprised by how much that moved. You saw the weight thrown, expecting that it would not do a whole lot of anything and just stay right in that path. So Joanne yep. now trying to hit to lie two. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clean. Clean it. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard to hold it. Hard. Don't roll it. Ah. No, Shona. I said don't roll it. 
And they don't want to roll it big. because the closer it gets to that other yellow stone, the easier the double for Rachel Holman. Such a great start to the week here in Calgary for Rachel yeah. Holman. I chatted with her last night about the how hard it is, especially now with all these young teams Queen coming up. Okay. Laurie St. George comes to mind and the competition getting better. 2014, the last time a team ran the table and was perfect at a Scotties to win it, and that was Rachel Holman in Montreal, 13 and 0. She says, you gotta be feeling it all week. You gotta get some lucky breaks go your way. And making shots like that also helps, obviously, a nice double from Rachel Holman. Well, really nice. They are seeing that even with big weight, there is movement this morning. Going to a different curling club. But ices herself very well. Throws that big up weight. You have to call it to miss it high. Rachel is due in April. It's the opposite of yesterday. Has been John <laughs> watching back well. home and Once son Riot, who is a year and eight months and now. <laughs> I think Riot's actually here. He's in a cutout somewhere in the in the crowd here at Windsport Arena. Has a lot of family and friends and dogs and cats and. Or ten, whatever you feel comfortable. I miss it though. Slow in a bit of trouble, I'm gonna have to draw around. There he is, by our good TSN friend Jim Young on the right and Riot on the left. That's awesome. I like the middle. Apparently uh, getting spoiled right now it. by his grandparents, so. That's all. Yeah. Hit this. I like Here. the first, yeah, the hit and roll. What's the okay. call? Nine five. Okay, you got it. This will go, right? Yeah. I, I'm liking that I would turn, but yeah. It's a little scary if I yeah. don't like it. Yeah. I'm not really sure what it does out there. I think it'll come well, up, I think. think it'll, right? it, that, that, oh, it turns a hair straighter, I think. Yeah. It's looking nice, though. I don't feel like it. You sit in the hack, you see that oh, stone that hard. is on the outside. If and if you ever were able to hit it and roll so under, it yeah, puts you in great so shape. They're just not really sure or confident of what ice you take for that. I like it, Carrie. And if you hit and roll out, you give Rachel Holman a chance to go around again. This one, Carrie, is pretty confident about Whoa. being able to hit and force Rachel to think Whoa. about Whoa. whether Whoa. she would leave it, and Moving I don't think quarter. she would. Shona. Close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no roll, no roll. And she'll roll into the weeds. Shotstone that. Team Ontario. Yeah, I, thought it, I was keeping yeah. close because I Where thought it would jump. Too. Yeah, Carrie from some curling yeah, yeah, royalty, yeah. her family, like such a great indeed. curler. She played in four Let Canadian mixed high, curling championships with brother Jamie, okay. who we've seen at the Briar. They won silver together. And of course, the great Kevin Cooley. Update time over on sheet D. And it's been a tough go so far for Carrie Anderson. Those three points, all stolen points thus far for Team UConn. And a chance, Carrie, to get them all back with the nose hit. She is already lying shot, is hitting the second shot stone to bring another one into play. Brianne Mayer on the brush. Shannon Birchard to her right, and there you go. Three back, so just like that. A tie game with Laura Eby out of the White Horse Curling Club. When you're and you see Anderson on the left and this lady on the right. What a final it was last year in Moose Jaw. Extra end. A lot of drama with Carrie Anderson winning the gold. Right on the nose for Rachel Homan. So the force is on. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think she's hitting. Should it be the draw for one? Well, if you play the hit, you have to count on a big roll. Exactly. And for Carrie, full eight is all she needs. Yeah, no, I'm just for reference. Okay. Yeah. Ice speed has um, been very consistent for the last couple of days. And really hard to stop. So should have confidence in draw weight. We also saw her throw in this path in the first end and go right to the forefoot. Okay. Same as practice, eh? Hey? Yeah. 
Last time a team from the Northwest Territories made the playoffs back in 1983 when Shelley Bildfell went 8-2 and, and lost in the semifinal that year. And in this team, we've yeah, seen them many times. You know that Kerry Galusha has the tools. they got to get on a run here. Pretty close. Final stone here in three. Keep it clean. As Kerry's drawing against the pair. Yeah. It's breaking now. It's good. It's a button. It's good. Well, it's there. Well. Yep, one yellow. Perfect. Nice one, Harry. Rachel made a nice one back in the first, and Gary Galusha, lovely draw weight here in three. As we have singles on the board, it is 1-1 here in Calgary. We're good. We're good? Oh, Guess you are. Three more. This is all on its own. She's driving it by. And Alberta will pick up the steal. We oh, need to. Put it on the corner. Give your skipper a chance. Take it down all the way to it like that. Here comes Emma Miskin. Get it to the far, ladies. You got to get it. Take it on the bar. Got the over curl. Get it there. Get it there. No. We're going to go one more. Drawing against two. Same thing here, again, get it to the far, take it, no! Alberta will steal it for the Canadian Women's Canadian Championship. Wow, what a final that was and what a win it was for Sarah Wilkes who won Scotties in 2019 with Chelsea Carey beating Rachel Holman, the biggest comeback at the Scotty's final history. Right, Chelsea Carey was down five to one. Wilkes, of course, the third on that team. And now Sarah work. Wilkes playing for go Rachel Holman. It's funny, you know, it's such a small it, curling world. Right, Wilkes guys. was also the alternate Court. for Val Head Sweeting in Moose Court, Jaw back in 2015. In. So a lot of these Turn names in. switching Here, teams over the years. And now she's chasing a Scotty's title oh, in, with oh. Team Ontario. After winning one with Team forward. Alberta in beating Rachel Holman. I thought a little light, but I didn't think it happened. Not that light. Well, yeah. So many exciting Scotty's finals over the years, and it would be interesting to take a look, Brian, at okay. all of the members that Where have won and who was car. alternates like, and how many like times they wound higher. up. Okay. This side it is a big country, yeah. but a very small Sorry, community so when it gets to the very top level. You know, Sarah watched Holman win one in 2017 as well. She was with Shannon Clivering for one season as well. That's Scotty's. That's halfway. It's high. High is okay, guys. Can you wait? High. Got a curl. Got half. A it's half. Right here. I think he here. Right whoa, here. whoa, 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 whoa! It's past Carrie's. We're room. gonna have to finish it. Oh, it's good. It's good. Okay, we're good. Got a girl. Just trying to protect further. Update time. A lot of rocks in play over on sheet B. And shot stone belonging to Jill Brothers right on the hearts there. And one to come from Mackenzie Zacharias. And it looks like yep. Mackenzie is trying to just yes. chip yes. that shot stone belonging to Jill Brothers just a little yes. bit over yes. to yes. leave her stone shot. And just not to be in. That's, I think, the weight of that more than anything. And you see both those teams with four so losses. Good. They're really up against the eight ball here to try and make that championship just round. Just a tough spot. Sorry? Just a tough spot. So the removal of the guards here means that Carrie right. Galusha and her team are looking Hold to protect up, again okay, with well another then. guard and also try to not set up Sorry, a double. For the Holman team to remove both. On its own right now. We're going to over it's curl. with that red. Joe, no. You, Joe, no. Oh, oh. It's got to stop. I thought she said Joe. No. Okay. Everybody's yelling. No. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone yelled. Or on the other sheets, you mean. Front's fine. What do you like? Do you like the run? Really high. I don't know if we should just try to chase. I want to try to chase it, I think. Do you think we could get there with hack? The straighter side and it's overburied. It's definitely a tougher side. Okay. Like my draw only went to here. Yeah. 
Whatever you think, we could try it. We move it. Okay. Yeah. Hack? Sure. Okay. So it's a long guard, and because it's a long guard, the temptation is not to peel the front to try to get to it. You heard with hack, but you also heard that it is in these paths still, even though there's a lot more movement to the ice, that it will run straight for a while. The key on this shot for Sarah is throwing that hack weight any more than that, and it won't hack. get the movement yep. you need. Yep, yep, yep. Want to talk about university curling at this event? Wilkes won a couple hard of U Sport gold hard. with Laura Walker really at Wilford Laurier. Laura, of course, skipping right. Alberta this year. And I'm sure she was iced on the tight side. If you peel the guard as you did, that is not going to get you into trouble. Going by the outside of everything will. And so one Back more time, in. Carrie Galusha hey, will ask it. her team. This time, Joanne Let's Rizzo go. to throw hey, the guard. Let's go to Let okay, we got to go for weight. Okay, well, you you're know, have to this get team in the Northwest Territory is one of the few territories or provinces to actually have a provincial That's play down. Hard. And full credit to Joanne. She actually came to the territory. She lives in Ontario. She isolated for two weeks just to come to their play downs. And it was basically three teams from Yellowknife. It was a single round robin. They went undefeated. Obviously, they won the three games and are here. But for Joanne, Carrie couldn't speak enough for that kind of sacrifice to be there for her team. It is a very big commitment. It's not only going to play in the play downs. It's what you have to do when you get yeah, somewhere yeah, yeah, that yeah, you're yeah, not yeah, from. Yeah. And what all these teams will have to do when they go Hard, home. Hard. 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 No roll. No roll. Good. Great, And rolls behind that wall of red. Well, trouble brewing. Not enough ice. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Not even oh, close. Like With that great roll by Emma behind those two here. corner guards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Carrie's looking to or make sure here. that where they place the stones. I like that. Okay. Looking to see and make sure that those ones are the problem. So if you place your stone right here, you know that what the plan will be is that run back. So considering all of those things before, asking Joanne Rizzo to go there. It's like, it's like Carrie. Make sure. Top eight. Go, We're okay. Got a curl. Yep, go, Margo. Back four. Back four. Hard, line, hard. No, no, it's just got to sit, sit. If we're not back here. Okay. And it is shot That's stone good. for the moment. Good though. That's good, Joe. Good so go. trying to navigate that port. You think a little more? Or you think it's gonna run? Um. Okay. Do you want more? Okay. Yeah. If she gets through, she makes the shot. You heard Kathy find the hole, oh, oh. make the shot. Yep, yep. Try oh, she's through. Lovely. Such okay. a good shot. Good you saw when it went through that there is not a lot of space on either good side. Shot, Beauty. Really nice shot. Sarah, I thought I was going to hurt. And Dick. they talk to each other oh. all the way down yep, yep. while they're putting a try lot of pressure to encourage each okay. other. Good try. Good, but. <laughs> See if we can follow her in. Yeah, well, Carrie saw where she took and how she threw it, and we'll try to replicate mm -hmm. what Emma just did. Just board, like a firm board. Yeah, like a lobby. Yeah. Okay. That's enough for me. Maybe a hair more for me. The guard that Emma was the closest to was the red stone on the outside and Carrie knowing how she throws may have a little bit more movement because she has less yeah. rotation. Yep. Yeah. Hard. 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 So the intern on the way. Hard. 
skip stones here in four. Right up. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Hard, 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 Trying hard, to get it by hard, her hard. yellow. Yeah, wow, we'll just go. by. And a little flip behind cover. Wow. That is a nice shot. It is a game of inches. Wow. Oh, really? Just Ooh, grazed that Joe, red know. stone up top. And for the record, that hole is not that big. Two great shots in a row. Guard the whole time. She gets so tight to that stone. She actually gets the inside roll. And had to get, I mean, just missed the yellow, just missed the red. Right through. And thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and behind cover. We could say that for the last if you can. Oh, maybe we should, should we come this way then to make sure we take it? Well, I don't know. Do you want to call time? Uh, well, I don't mind this with half. I think it'll go. Okay. I just don't know if that's enough ice. Uh, I think it's close. Randy Furby yeah. is the coach this yeah. year for Team Ontario. I think it's too close to the line. It'll take off. I think as long as the rock goes off the line, it's going to be really close. So looking to try okay, to I throw hack work. weight. And now trying a different line, port. This one down the cross. center. Yeah. Up to speed here, eh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hack. Hack? Hack? Yeah. Okay. Marcel Rock, part of the Furby Four, is the usual coach of this team, but him being a teacher, just again, tough decisions, couldn't get away. Middle of 12. Time from school, so Randy stepped up to coach as we. Check in on sheet A. Wow, a lot of yellows up top, but the ones that matter are in the yeah. house, and they are red, and they belong to Team Wildcard and Beth Peterson, the intern draw for four. Wow, what an opportunity to break this game open. And again, you see both those teams, three losses. You cannot afford to pile up too many losses in our feature. Wow, what a shot. By the guard. And wow, one, two, you're Ontario good, lying good, good. two. That is a pistol from good. Rachel Homan. And yeah. the backing, yeah, we'll take it, says Beth Peterson. Four. And four on the yeah. board, just like that, it's leading eight. by two, Team Wildcard out of Manitoba. We well, some brilliant shot making this morning on this sheet, and that is not only about the players. Time. That's about the ice surface and the sure consistency that Greg Owasco and his team are now providing that they can put the broom this down with confidence, throw yeah. those quieter weights, yeah. and know what they're going to do. I don't think it's a crazy light, but... I don't think it... Like, if we tick, we're done. Yeah, so then the outturn? I think we have to try to get here yeah. again. Yeah, the same as... Okay. Wherever you gave or me. here. I don't know. I think she can get it anywhere Absolutely. we put it. So Kerry Galusha in tough as they talk things over. Another update for you. As Team Yukon, three stolen points. Sorry. Totally. Well, she threw it through oh, because if you take a look on the button, she was lying <coughs> two already. And it was Carrie Anderson stones that were around it. No way to get in there. So taking the smart decision to say, I'll just take my two and run. Wow. So good for Laura Eby. Having a strong morning against the defending champs. Trying to play spoiler. That was a 15 2. Really? Yeah, it looks really tight. Up and down there. But you can play like you can't line. see much of it, you mean? Oh, you can't see any of it. No. So the draw is not. Well, there? that's just an easy shot there. We can't go there. Do you think we can get here? You only have to get to the white. Yeah. Okay. I think so. If we give like it's a time line called, shot. obviously, it's and Jim Wait, their coach is out. Late. Do you think that that's... As they chat things over, let's keep rolling. Another update as the wildcard team, Mackenzie Zacharias taking on Jill Brothers. And Jill has a couple in the house right now that are counting. But a nose hit by Mackenzie will give the young team the single point. Yes, yes. Yes. Back to our feature, Jim Waite, lead. the longtime oh. National oh. Olympic coach for Curling Canada. Okay. Was part of the Martin and Howard Olympic gold run. Multiple Goodness. world championship gold medals for Team Canada as yes. Mackenzie one sticks red. it. So a single. One red. And she's within yep. one. Good sweep. Good throw. John Good Epping okay. usually would yes. coach, but John will see at the Briar and wasn't able to throw stones. And rightfully so. Well, they would. Advantage. Sorry, Brian. They wanted to go there, but Carrie just pointed out that if you ever tick on this guard, which is the path that you'd have to take, 
that would be really bad. So then their Whoa, next choice was, why don't we try nice. to go around this Much way? But the concern, knowing it's Rachel like, Holman, is this run back like, Carrie, in like this area right here. So the decision that they've talked here? about with their coach, Jim Waite, is oh, yeah, this I, shot I right. coming on so top, getting in this area. I'm Even if you're a little bit out here, the jam is there. The biggest risk of this shot is just you're really out in the unknown. We make sure we hold it out for a bit. Can't defend everything, so can you? I you mean, cannot. It's uh, in top of the hammer here. Carrie Galusha needs a great stone with her final rock here in four. Yeah, I think it's pretty good weight. So the oh, outturn oh, draw on the way from only. Carrie. Yeah, go then. Yep. Yep. Only. Yes. Yeah, go to go Had to put the broom way out there in the wings. She's by the guard, no problem. How far can they drag it? Needs to be shot stone a little bit more. Oh, what a great shot. It is shot stone. That is an awesome clutch shot from Carrie Galusha. This is the Carrie Galusha that scares everyone because when she comes to play, there is not a lot that she can't make. Great brushing by the front end to know right really off good, the Margo, bat I that they're going to have to drag this stone <sighs> right to the four. Wonderful finish. I got so excited. I came to help and sweep, and then I went, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Margot oh, Fleming, Shona Barber, great oh, scrub. And then making yeah, the three-time Scotty's champion. A little tougher yeah, decision now. We've seen I think it's there. Yep. Draw. Like with draw weight? Yeah. Pretty gradual. You're just oh, back. No, I was thinking like back line. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we need a little less than that. Because I think draw weight's going to overcurl. I was thinking like here, not like to make sure we come up. But if you like a little more, that's okay. Back eight. So the in turn right? kind of yeah. quiet tap to try get to Kathy? Which one is easier? Well, they, they well, know the movement's the there. She's the hoping to come in through this hole right there, excuse me. Yeah, I think it's there. Come in this hole right here and yeah, just here. Yeah. touch this stone back ever so slightly back eight, I think. to lie to. Yeah. Yeah. Shades of that Gary Anderson little tap shot in the final last year. Just move just it. Just gotta touch it. Yeah. yeah. Just that little bit. The challenge stone is on the right, that longer, yellow guard that she has to get by first. And this is when in the hack, you gotta ignore the actual house and concentrate on that room, right? It's gotta be so tough to not really see it from the hack. Well, it's, it's eight, visually eight, really eight, tough eight. because it is eight, way eight, overburied. Eight. Whoa. Whoa. So after a lovely Finally draw goes. from Carrie Galusha, yes, five stone, finally. you're in four, Whoa. Rachel Finally. Holman. By the yellow guard, guard, no problem, trying to carve on, it over, go, 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 go. touch the yellow, and they oh. just slide by so close to making that shot. A great effort from Rachel Holman, literally one more inch of curl, and they had it. It was that close. And a steal for Carrie Galusha, and a 2-1 advantage. Welcome back to the Scotties, the 10th time the great province of Alberta hosting this national championship. Third time for Calgary. It was here back in 1970, Saskatchewan winning that year. The last time it was here, 1995, at the Max Bell Center, and a skip named Connie Laliberti won it for Manitoba, and a young lady named Kathy Goche was throwing second stones as you won one of your three Scotties titles in this city. Uh, just some wonderful, wonderful memories. Obviously, it was under different conditions, and we had a chance to spend some time in Calgary when we weren't playing, and what a wonderful city with so many things to see and do. Unfortunately, these teams will not have that opportunity this year because of the bubble that restricts movement between the players and all of our team, which is pretty much limited to the hotel or the arena. 
Yeah, and that's the tough thing, right? I was chatting with Sarah Hill this week from St. John's. How much more east can you be in Canada? And you travel all this way, and what an opportunity. You have Canmore and Banff, just a 50-minute drive away, especially right from this side of the city in Calgary at Wind Sport and Canada Olympic Park. But you'll get to know your hotel room walls really well by the end of this thing, that's for sure. Start talking to the walls. So 2-1, the... Team from the Yellowknife Curling Center leading, and what a draw that was from Carrie Galusha. Super. I mean, that could have been a three-point swing for Ontario, but that draw alone oh, ending up in a steal of one. And I think a really good example of a really good timeout where you you know you stop all of the thinking for a second. You have a coach out there. You have a different voice that brings you some different thoughts. You heard Jim say you only need to be in the eight foot. It's wonderful that Kerry got shot and stole, but his messaging was that if you even get to the eight foot, you're going to make it much more difficult for your opponent to score two. And it changed the thinking on the team, which wound up leading to a steal. I thought that was a ton. Yeah, and that's full credit to Joanne Rizzo. She worked with Jim Waite quite a bit. And when John Epping didn't come, and John obviously really wanted to, but he's going to be here for the Briar, a long time to isolate. He would have obviously wanted to throw some stones here, and he couldn't. So Can't. good for Jim Waite to step up. Removes both, but leaves that stone guarded. And so ideally, you're tucking it a little bit around to take away the direct run back, but not trying to be right on top of it. Talking about the six rock, they obviously feel that it is a slower stone or a sharper stone. You heard them reference it will dig. Sit then, sit then, sit then. Okay, well, when Kerry made that outstanding draw, obviously there was a roar in the crowd. <laughs> and, uh, you know, part of it was Mandy, that's her boss on the right, Carrie's boss, and of course shown his cat named no, Kitty no, on the left. No. Great fan support here this week. Yeah, you hard, know what, hard. I do we'll still play. think hard, it's hard, wonderful hard, for the hard, players hard, to look hard. up and see something, whether it's a pet or it's a boss or it's a partner or a child. It just kind of makes you smile and reminds you that they're watching at home. Yeah. Oh, and I know who that is. Uh, that's my little guy, Sir Pop Studley. Hey, buddy. Like, why can't he have a name like Stevie or something? That's my boy. Sir Pop He's Studley. He's actually laid out on the couch right now, watching you or listening, or maybe so not actually watching. But shout out to my buddy Andy, who's taking Pop good care of my little wait. guy. Wait. Wait. Good. Take and a look. Steve and their families. Thank you to them. Pop. It's even with the Reds. Well, the guarded, it's it's covering the shot stone, but the unfortunate part is that it left the double side open. And so there's an opportunity that Ontario is going to jump on top and see if Emma can make the double. Really hard. By the card, and she drives it by, shooters rolling. Courtney's on it. Sorry, Rach, just a little Trying to drag it behind those yeah, corner guards. Said, like, all the I agree. Had to go over it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. that over curl by Anna. <laughs> they had to go hard to get by that guard, but then it's playing the audible, yeah, trying to go as far as they can to get it tucked under the corners, but it did whoa. not get that far, and so it whoa. is open. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Nine. Still thought it would come the straighter of the two, anyway. 
Nice numbers there for Joanne this morning. Okay, you got it. A good chunk of that stone available to Hi. Emma from the hack. Little flip behind cover. Very nice. Great control of weight, great brushing. Good shot, Good. Really nice. Nice sweep. Sweet. Sweet. We talked about Jennifer Jones now, the all time winner at a position at the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. 152 as Jennifer passed that, passing Colleen Jones. Holman can pass Colleen Jones with a playoff win for a second most all-time as a skip. Some pretty elite company, some of the names and records that we've talked about this week. Yeah, we thought you were going to it. Got it, Carrie. Wow. Wonderful. Now 100% on her draws and she has made some big ones, no bigger than last and on her final stone, but now trying to get to the top. Trying to make the scoring zone for Rachel Holman very, very small. And then we'll actually peek out the other side. Look at that curl. Now the weight's pretty close. You move that stone a couple of inches over to the right. That's exactly where she wanted to be. Yeah, I wanted to go for line early and then they didn't believe me. Auto. Yeah, but it's still, right now it's pretty much auto anyways to get rid of one. We just want to, we got to try and get to them. What do you think it is? Well, she took, she took here with a spinner and started it, so I think, yeah. They notionally looked at playing the hit, but you don't need to because it is second shot. This is running nicer than yeah. when she threw out wide. And so we'll come down on top of her zone. If she is right on top, good. she will be lying two. Yeah. Okay, it should be good. Yeah. Okay. One of the storylines this morning on She D was Laura Eby. Out of the White Horse Curling Club, she stole the first three points of this game. She did. And had an advantage over the defending champs, but the tide turning now in favor of Team Canada and Carrie Anderson. Well, for Carrie, if she can get half of her stone in the house, it I is going to be for you. four. I added, I added. And for the first time, this game mine. would take a two point mine, lead. Mine. As Carrie Anderson and her team trying to go back to back. No, no, you're, and nobody's done you're that since Rachel Homan <laughs> in 2013, 2014. Nice, good there touch. you go, nice throw. Yeah. Four, yeah. And after trailing by three, Carrie Anderson certainly bouncing back in this game. And now leading after five. Three. So then. Then. Right Rachel around. Here. If we're just gonna make her draw. Yeah, but we not shot. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, same you thing. Where did you have me? Uh, you were here. So then if we get here and I throw the same, because we don't need to bump yeah. it this time. She was here and I still over curled. Yeah, that's even if you're here a little bit where oh, you don't was. want to be. Let me just clear that. Way. Where you don't want to be is there because you can expect that Rachel might consider All right, this time to we take on to, freeze it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. to take on the double. Even if we're like not quite to it, yeah. we block off her draw. Yeah. Similar weight. Yeah, that was a bit of a spinner. Yeah. I think that would run better out here, so I almost need a little less. Yeah, I think. Yeah, if you're gonna throw the same, yeah. Mm -hmm. We kind of dug over the yeah. Well, there is a great story that we talked about earlier, up and down, 86. Oh, I watched that game. She was wonderful. 
and then the struggle and then the up and down. We also talked about the play of Joanne Rizzo. So goes Joanne, so goes Carrie because it affects lighter. the degree of difficulty. But this morning, 94% right now and has, well, that last shot, last end led to the steal. Yeah, we talked about it. She's knocked off Team Canada in her career, beating Jennifer Jones and Heather Nedowin and Amber Holland. And this one will stop outside of the rings, and she always gives the top team such a battle. I know, obviously, Rachel Holman is not Team Canada, former three-time champ, but playing Rachel tough this morning. I thought she was... Still the same speed it's been. Yep. She is, so for Rachel, needs a piece of the forefoot. <laughs> Has to go a little further yep. out because of the guard that Carrie just dropped right out yep. front. Yep. Right on the teeth. Little, little more. Rachel, a first team all-star at the skip position in three of the last four years at the Scotties. So consistently brilliant at this event. Well, I said, Brian, in the opening that she is at the top of the leaderboard oh, right now amongst seven. all skips. Mine's good. Turn a bit nicer out here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Running. Seven, eight. Whoa, no, no. Can't. Bite of the four. Can't, I don't think. And nothing to it yet. You got one of the here. best front ends in the business. Would love to put it on their brush. It's nice got to stop, and it will. I guess she's just saving their energy for later on in the week <laughs> yeah. as it will settle. Back four. And two on the board as Ontario leading 3-2. There's Randy Furby, the coach of Team Ontario. The six-time Briar champ, four-time world champ, and he's in good company with this team, one of the best in the business. Skipped by Rachel Holman. And it has been an exciting game so far through five, Kathy. Oh, it really has. Some just great performances by both teams. The edge overall in team percentage at 88 to 80 is the Ontario team. But both of these skips not only playing well, making huge shots, and Emma Miskew that I said we had to watch, well, she's at 95%. A couple of great shots and draws from Carrie Galusha, who has been brilliant in her 14th appearance at the Scotties, trying to find her way into that championship round of eight. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. By Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. By Cashmere Bathroom Tissue, nothing feels like it. And by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. As I continue on in my career and all of a sudden there's history that you can make. It, it definitely is meaningful to me to be able to win seven Scotties just seems unfathomable. But it really is just about stepping on the podium with these girls and hoping that we can give ourselves an opportunity to make the final. Our goal is to be on top of the podium. We put a lot of hard work and time into this. So the goal for the end of the week is to be Team Canada. And that is our matchup this afternoon. Jennifer Jones, six Scotty's titles. Nobody's won seven. Suzanne Burt, remember that rookie season out of junior. Won a bronze medal that year, trying to get on top of the podium. Three and two records. It'll be a good one. 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. As Vic and Russ and Cheryl and Kathy will have you covered here at Windsport Arena. A beautiful facility and our home for the season of champions. As we've got a good one here in our feature at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Nice draw from Rachel Holman, two on the board in five, and a 3-2 advantage with play underway here in six. It is Carrie Galusha with Hammer throwing the yellow stones. Too good. Yes, Margo. Yep, I don't care. You got to bury it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do that really well. Good. Yeah. Wing two. Keep it there. Oh, oh, oh. Clean. Coming up. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh. Clean, no, clean. no, 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 no. 
Um, oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't roll. Don't on the roll. nose, Keep behind cover. I'm very effective. <laughs> Almost too strong. Well, Joanne really embracing this lead position. I'm sure if you asked her if she moved down, she would not characterize it as that, but rather move like to a different position. Lower, making lower, way for lower. Sarah Wilkes at second. Lots of people wondered how Joanne would do at the lead position. She's it's not even doing close, very Margo. well. The big part of the Coming game down, that she loves good. so much is the brushing, and that has not changed. Bring it back home. So, right Kathy, 11 women yeah. all time have won two right Scotties at two different positions. Right, Joe, Shannon right Burchard, more recently, right you've done it before. You've played oh, right, Margo, first you and see? second. Is there any real differences to, to those spots and yeah. moving? Oh, there's lots. Yeah. So you know, you're dealing with someone like Joanne who was playing a lot of hits okay. and a lot of you different like kinds of shots. Now she's playing a lot yeah. of draws. She's playing yeah. tick shots. Yeah. It's a different kind of thing. To me, the key of success in playing two different positions and playing them well is the upstairs in your head that says yeah, I want hard, to embrace hard. this position and be the best at it that I can and I think that that's exactly what Joanne has done and you am I just squaring those Trying to get body some tight and then feedback. Obviously, the new addition on this team, trying to okay. continue to improve and get better. And yeah. to your philosophy on changing positions, it look no further than a sheet over in Team Canada, as you have four okay. skips that made the decision, hey, I'm going to embrace you know, my new position. And Kerry Anderson, obviously Canadian champs last season. Well, in the case of Carrie early. Anderson, it wasn't only Cheap. adopting the position. Okay, well you have skips that have to learn how to sweep oh. and to move up and down the ice no, and have a different nice. perspective. You're no, used to looking know. at things coming at you. Now you're on top of a stone and trying to judge how yet. far it will go. Very different freeze, kinds of skill sets. I thought they just watched video of Russ Howard sweeping as a skip yeah, over yeah, the go, years. Go, 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 go. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, try, I, try I don't to... know. I just. <laughs> I held a straight face for about four seconds. Probably need like a solid hack to get rid of this one. Yeah. Okay. Take that yellow through. That was bored. Just this is the yeah. same ice. Yeah. So can't hit hard at sense. it. Yeah. Okay. And you heard her ask Rachel, and Rachel said you're sliding a little bit tight and then kind of coming out and in, and that's why her rocks were doing different things. So we'll see if she's picked up on that Slide little up. technical cue. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. In this field, Jocelyn Heavy. Peterman Heavy. and Lisa Heavy. Weagle Heavy. and Sarah Wilkes, yep. players yep. Uh, representing Heavy. two provinces at the Scotties in their careers. <laughs> and Joanne trying to carve it over. There's a tap, tap. And shot stone, Team Ontario. Well, a little bit more finish. She hits it more on the nose. And that back yellow one is completely removed from play. It's hard for me to tell, though, so I don't know. Up. Oh, it's more than board. Clean. Weight's good. Whoa. Whoa. Clean it. Whoa, Joe. Joe. It's more than board. Whoa. Well, yeah, roll it, Joe. Roll it. Roll it out. Roll it out. OK, good. Atta girl, 10 eight. good call. Tanya, Team Galusha has come to play this morning. They've been very sharp. Okay. Well, there's no let off against a team. Mentally, you know, coming into a game against a team like Rachel Holman, that you can't though. afford to okay. snooze a little bit. You have to stay 100% focused for every like shot normal? to keep yourself in the game. And I think you that are, helps Arnold. as yeah. well. So, Kathy, Connie Laliberti, Jennifer Jones, when your skip is feeling it and you see it, how much does that feed down to oh, your team? Oh, huge, yeah. huge. If you have a, a leader, a skip that is completely engaged and believable, and I'd add Lois Fowler to that yeah. group as well, it just inspires you to be better and to make everything because you know they are, and you just want to put yourself in the best position to help them out. Never, never, never. 
So Ontario lying two and three. Shotstone though, Kerry okay. Galusha and then I just with hammer here, here in six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sarah just confirming. I just sat on the last one. I just relaxed a bit. Tried to get. We go here though. They're just coming here. Okay. Okay. So is it sticky here or what? I like this. Um, I don't. You just need to bite the four. You don't need to be too deep. Yeah. We just need full eight. Well, let's like head this. over to sheet A for an update. It is Team Wildcard and Beth Peterson taking on Krista Burns, Northern Ontario. Hold here for a bit. Oh, and I think Shotstone is that yellow Kathy back eight with it one is. to come from Beth Peterson. I'm just looking at options. I guess Beth doesn't feel that she can tap up the redstone. If she does tap up her own, it's only for one. She is going to play the tap on the outside oh, one. Good. I thought she might play the middle one across the close, face. Close, Brit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So can she, is she playing it to get two or close. just to get one? Yes. I guess. With this weight, it's for one. Just for the tap for one, okay? Hi. Needs a bite of the forefoot. There's the tap. And it will keep sliding. It took the other turn, right. went the other way, a steal of one. Uh, perfect lead, eh? So it's a tie game. Krista Burns, Northern Ontario. Oh, They're throw. all locked Great up lead, at four then. after six. I think it might be a tight nice. There's a lead! Close. Yep, yep, yep. And a miscue here in six. And a little wiggle. And Shotstone Team Ontario. Nice little pocket there as well for the Shotstone. Nice shot. The board goes. Yeah, anything more it doesn't. Great shot. Great sweep. This is basically out of play. We room a little bit. Heavy on the control one. Wait, this one? Yeah. Well, we're Can't playing remember. down normal. Um, they didn't tell me heavy, but maybe. I think maybe that's the weight that doesn't come up anymore. Just to get rid of this it. This is one yeah. of the reasons for the team home and success. So they are always talking about how they released it, what the weight is. The communication is something ice, that Joe. all teams strive to be better at, regardless of how good you are. And We've heard examples about three times this end of Sarah communicating after she threw with Rachel, with Emma talking about weight. They're always talking not as a way of picking at each other, but of a way of making sure that everyone knows how they're throwing, the weights that they're throwing. Those are things that help you get better, make more shots. Good weight, just didn't get the finish they were hoping for. No, we just left that a little higher. We could have jammed it. Solid hack. Okay. Where do you want to roll this? Uh, just right there is good. Okay. Sorry, what was the weight? Solid hack. Solid hack? Okay. Yeah. Up to speed here. Just try to get to the nose of it because then for that. Carrie okay. Galusha, when she gets to the nose, it will be the red stone on the outside right that would be shot. Board. Whoa. Room, room. Board. Oh, no. Pretty incredible Big. in her previous yeah. seven yeah. Scotties yeah. appearances. Whoa. 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 Five finals. Yeah. 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 Winning yeah. three, losing yeah. two of them. We're good. Rachel will hit and stick so. around. We'll update you on sheet B. And again, a lot of rocks in play. And just yeah. looking to see who okay. is Shotstone between Zacharias and Brothers. A 4-2 lead yeah, for Jill Brothers. You have to assume that it is Zacharias. Mackenzie asked her to take another look because that Yellowstone is wide open. If there were really any concern in the back of their mind that it might not be shot, you would expect that Mac would play to that way, either tapping it back or playing a hit. So this is the draw for what they believe to be two. Easy. 
And that's Lauren Lenenstein who is the lead but holds the broom in the house. Your sweepers, Emily Zacharias and Carly Burgess. 14-1. Not a good sign when they totally walk away from it. This has got to slow down. Oh, and she also touched. Oh, that was a quick kick. Okay. <laughs> Two it is. Wow. And you see both those teams yeah. with <laughs> four losses like right now. I got 14 1. And they 14. are in a 4 4 okay. tie. You cannot afford any awesome. more. Mm -hmm. Even four, you don't know if that might be too much yeah, at this point. Kinda. What did you think, Kathy? You know, three, I mean, when, we get, like? when you look we at the field in the new options. format, no. three I losses, like I mean, you don't want many more. No, you don't want many more. Try to open up the middle here yeah. for a draw. I think so too. It's pretty thin. Maybe a little more where we had it, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's like a quarter of a rock. And the rest of the scores as well. Throw and believe it. As UConn taking one in the six, so pretty good game over there. They've been giving Carrie Anderson a run. And the other wildcard yeah. team and a 4-4 tie with Northern Ontario. Of course, we've been updating you and we will continue to all morning long as it's a critical day at the Scotties when you look at the standings. And Same Carrie is not yeah. going to be shot yeah. 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 when she makes yeah. this if she gets Please. to the nose. Whoa. 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 Oh, she's yeah. playing a thin double. One, two, across the face, hurt, spilling hurt, it. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Gotta yeah. spill it a little more. Nice shot, Carrie. What a shot from Carrie Galusha. Look at him disappear. Pretty good. It's better. No, I like it. It is better. It's not so clustered. She had to get that stone out of there. Just hit by Rachel home, and there was no path to the forefoot. Plus, she knows Rachel's going to hit it. Yeah, that's better. It wasn't it's without really risk. If she hits it a little bit thicker, she jams on her own. But that was about the ice because I thought you makes were almost down. all of them go away. I'll keep it there. I thought you did too. Okay. And that one, we believe, is out. And so if Down Rachel nervous. happens to roll out, fine. you'd be okay. expecting Carrie to play the blank. If not, it will be the force. What weight, sir? Down normal. Down normal? Yellow one back there. Yeah. It almost didn't, though. Yeah. And Rachel will reset. Straight through. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. good. Clean. 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 Her final Clean. stone here in six yep. without hammer. Yep. 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 Clean. Clean. Wanting to Go. hit and stick Clean. and yep. ensure yep. the force is on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Nice. And she will. So either a hit or a draw. Dealer's choice and the broom down. So a draw here for one for Carrie Galusha. They told me to throw a couple more feet, so I did. I got that the same times though for you. Oh, okay. I think it's good. I don't think it's heavier in the spot. No, yeah. I don't either. I need the same. Yeah, that was the discussion we just okay, had. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's make it. So good feedback from the brushers who are watching every throw. Yeah, last end. Yeah. I think you can throw what you threw on your first one. Okay. Last end. That same draw the button. Wait. Okay, let's make it, guys. Yeah, you got yeah. this. We need four foot. Of the heart. I see you got the stopwatch, out, Kathy. What do you think Dude. in hog to hog? Probably in this path about 14, two or three. Go a little. Yeah, I think really so. good. Bottle stone on the way here at six. Running hard. It's running. Stay on it. Yeah. As Carrie Galusha drawing against whoa, whoa, two. Whoa, Would down. love full four. Really running. Room down. Bite the four. Bite the four only. Just, that's good. Clean Should it start in. to Just curl clean. up and slow down. Nice shot. Really nice. And she's yeah. got draw weight in her good back night, pocket. Lovely. It's been a tight contest good. all morning long, and we're tied up at three. Felt like more. 
Glad you're watching our Scotty's coverage. It's Wednesday morning in Calgary. Brian Mudrick joined by three-time Scotty's champ Kathy Goche in the booth in a 3-3 tie in our feature. Only one two on the board thus far coming from Rachel Holman as Team Ontario does have Hammer here in seven throwing the Red Stones. A very evenly matched game this morning. Both teams forcing each other to make some very good shots. Both skips responding to that challenge. Okay, pack weight. I can keep this there, hey? Gosh, Ice is great, not line. seeing any pack breaking weight. down this morning. The guard's not the end of the world. Yeah, you got it, come back. So Joanne playing easy weight at that yep. stone yep. in the yep. back. If yep. you tick your own, it goes yep. in. Margo Whoa. Fleming, second stones. Me? The Me new addition to this okay. yep. Yep. team out of Yellowknife. I just don't know sometimes. <laughs> Good, Margo. So as we check in on sheet A, Kathy, that yeah. red stone up top is biting it for is. Beth Peterson. So this looks to be the hit for two. And this game has gone back and forth this morning. Beth scoring that four that leaps out at you at the board, but Northern Ontario yeah. finding a way to get themselves back to even. Yeah. So they put Peterson whoa, whoa, up two. And you see Brittany Tran on the right. Good. She used to be a teammate of whoa, Carrie Galusha. Now on Team Wildcard, their new addition, and a nice hit and stick, so two on the board, as Wildcard two, leads yeah. by two. Yeah. Meanwhile, Sarah Wilkes made the hit and the roll Good. underneath. Sorry, that was a bad throw. I kicked out with like an 11. <laughs> and without last rock, Carrie needs it'll to it'll chase. Stay close, guys. Yeah. Easy. Whoa. Uh, ten and a half. A little up. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Shona. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yep, Whoa. Whoa. Yep, 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 yep. 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 You know, sometimes Great people it. travel and move to different Pretty provinces to play with different teams, okay. but you told the story of Margot, <laughs> who is up north for her PhD, yep. and talking about moving because she loves that part of the country so much. So again, we talk about Canada like being that. small. We have an import from different provinces, but sometimes people like it so much they stay. Okay. Another update for you on Sheet D, and Carrie Anderson, Team Canada. A 7-6 advantage over Laura Eby out of Whitehorse. And one to come from the defending champ. Well, for Carrie, Ice any good. part of the paint will do for her pair. Curled early. Slow start Curled this morning early. for the Team Canada no, you're good. outfit. Just, now it's holding. They picked Curling. up a four it's in really the moving. fifth end, but it was all Eby early. As she was nice. trying to steal her way five. to good an fresh. early lead and did, stealing three points through two ends, but Team Canada riding the ship. Yeah. How about okay. that? Right in the hearts, that's pretty good. And Anderson turning things around Thanks. and trying to go 6-0. and oh. And if you're just joining us, we know that Anderson is already into the championship go round, go as is Rachel Holman careful, definitely into that championship round, which begins on Friday. Where do you want it? And the where? new wrinkle this year, not a page playoff. If you're the top team we're there, we're there. with your record, you go right to the final and the top three it's teams past. make the playoffs. It's past. Finish it. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, I had a hard time getting up there. So a little extra than yeah, my normal Yeah, I think so. Weight. You can think they're on your own. Okay. Well, for Rachel does not want to be forced with that stone sliding behind the tee line. Asking Emma to sit on it and create an opportunity for two. 
from that front end and a few final licks from Joanne Courtney. They are both great sweepers, but she is in a That's class that is pretty special. Yeah, the way right. Hard. Watch when they switch. Close. Hard. Joe. Hard. Hard. Close. So many pressure. It's broom it's speed. It's direction. Her head right over the broom head. With all that curl. Yeah. She said to me years ago that she wanted to gain 10 pounds so that the pounds per square inch would be even that much more. No. Solid oh, muscle. No. Play the pick. Oh, yep. Marco. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. 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 To pick it. Wow. <laughs> Plays the audible. Eight ball corner pocket picks it out. In the meantime, update time. And Team Zach Rice in a 4-4 tie with Jill Brothers. Well, Mac just made that stone that is at the top of the hearts on her final stone. So that is a lot of pressure on Jill Brothers. Before that, there was a stone out in the 12 foot. So it is Team Zacharias that lied too. Yes, you might have to go. But this draw area is very small, needs hearts. Line's fine. Oh, we're okay. Jill Brothers back again for Nova Scotia with Aaron Carmody and Jennifer Bryan and Emma Logan. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, shoot, we lost it. Yep, yep, little yep, tick, yep. and it roll enough for shot That's stone. Oh, they just lost right. line. Yeah. It will be a steal of one for Mackenzie Zacharias out of the Altona Curling Club in Manitoba. Good judge. 13 4. Yeah, I got four yeah. Pretty cool to see youth being served in the 40th well, anniversary of Kruger so, yeah, Products sponsoring this event. Right We've been so. so impressed with Lori St. George, <laughs> and we've seen her at the Canadian Nationals before. <laughs> Obviously, Mackenzie Zacharias, a world and Canadian junior champ. Okay. It's so nice exactly. to see these young ladies coming like up and getting so. their experience now at the Scotties. Well, a miscue by Emma Miscue on her final one sliding deep, and so pressure can be applied. I'm going to run like Joanne, so just stay close. Chance to lie three. Yeah. Just keep doing the slide you've been doing. We'll curl more. Third shot, just like biting eight. Oh, kind of? Yeah, I think top eight. Okay. Okay. Top 12's not bad. I think she's just going to free. Like, that one's behind the tee. Yeah. She'll probably freeze again. I agree, Carrie. I think that because that stone is back there, if this is a guard, she's going to go around, and now you're chasing to not give up two. If you come into the house in top eight foot, that freeze becomes very precise. You might even see a double, and if they're lined up, maybe even a triple attempt by Rachel Homan to bring that redstone at the back of the house into play. So this is all about positioning. Kathy, I got a message from John Epping this morning, and obviously he still is chatting with Carrie on a daily basis. Their coach and friend, and he says she is technically sound this morning, so... He's obviously cheering on from afar, but likes what he's seeing in the skip from Yelena. Well, it's pretty hard to not like what he's seeing as a coach. We had to stop. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Super. What was Shona doing at the end? I don't know, because if she brought it any yeah. further, she would have maybe froze. <laughs> 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 Can you get them all here, Kathy? The double for sure you can. And you might get the triple. But you'd have to hit it pretty sharp on the broom side. Rachel Holman, first here in seven, one, two. Keep dragging it. Good, yeah. And it is good enough because the most important thing is it outcounts that red. The red still outcounts the yellow at the back. Super two, three. Yeah. Nice shot. So what you're calling. Fuck. So we're calling. No. 
each other. Mm. Just enough, eh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is that red. Yep. Do anything but hit it there. Yeah. Okay, what can we eat? What are you comfortable with drawing? 9 five? Five? Yeah. Run for a bit it's or? It's not gonna do much, I don't think. I threw here before and it didn't do much. Okay. Play it that way, right? Yeah, that was a nice make shot. Make them both go away. Pardon? That Fly was a nice three. shot. Yeah, that was a nice shot. Let's play the double. Yeah. Yep. Got this. Miss it. We're giving up two. Okay. But. Okay. What's Should the... I like here better? That's what I've okay. been throwing. Okay. Setting up ice. Um, you want to hit high side? Shona's. Yeah. One more? With nine. I'm, I'm just thinking a little more. Yeah. We can't hold them too good here. Yeah, we can't overcurl it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Let's make it. Yeah. Just listening to the conversation and the hack, I have this vision of John Epping on the couch, kind of shaking his head a little bit with it when Carrie sits in the yeah. hack and said, if we miss yeah. this, we yes. give up two. Yeah. Ideally, you don't want to have a lot of negative yeah. self-talk. Kerry Galusha, yeah, can yeah. she make the double, run it back? Uh, okay. And she'll drive it through, so it'll be the hit for two for Team Ontario and Rachel Homan. Well, you heard the uncertainty in Carrie's voice about the ice and where the broom went. And sometimes Good if you care. think, maybe I take more, maybe I don't, I think she got that stone going a little bit after yeah. throwing it pretty clean all day. And I, I think that that, that really came from the uncertainty on I the ice, not, not a technical thing per se. Sorry, no, that was my fault. I like a little less than just a hair less. I mean, this is wider than everyone, though. So. Yeah. Some here plays. You know, yeah. Well, you can see that Rachel lost. believes yeah, that yeah. it is two right now for Carrie Galusha, that that okay, top five, stone is, in fact, out counting the back, and that's why okay. then hair less. this is the draw. So in a 3-3 tie, yeah, final yeah. stone here in seven. Yeah, Great yeah. opportunity go for Rachel Homan. Really curling, guys. <laughs> Johan Courtney urging on Sarah Wilkes. Wilkes. This is a big on, scrub. Go, 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 really go. got to go to try get go, it by that go, yellow hard. stone, and they can't drag it far enough. Wow. Wow, 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 wow is right. As Carrie Galusha, can she play spoiler? Stealing two. Welcome back to Calgary, home to the Calgary Flames. Of course, Canada Olympic Park, those Olympics and the legacy from 1988. Home to the Scotties this year, and we'll update the standings for you. As we've mentioned a few times, two teams you see on the left already qualified for that championship round of eight. It is going to be a lot of fun in Pool B. Not a lot of separation. You see St. George, Fleury, four and two. And you take your record with you with that championship round of eight, four from each pool beginning on Friday. And a few Calgary Flames former in the house. Jerome McGinley, Theron Fleury, Mike Vernon, and the current captain, Mark Giordano. It's been fun watching the Canadian division in the National Hockey League. And has. Big Mine's news for the Montreal Canadiens coming out this yep, morning yep, as well as Paul yep. Julien let go. Yes. Yep, keep going. Kurt Keep Muller as well. Yep, and door. Dominic Ducharme taking over behind the bench for the Montreal Canadiens after a tough loss in Ottawa. Just clean it before I go. So a big steal in our feature. As Kerry Galusha leading 5-3. Rachel Holman with Hammer will update you now. One, two, three, four red stones for 
team wild card in Beth Peterson and one to come from the skip from Northern Ontario, Krista Burns. Now Krista tried to draw on her first one, came short of the rings and that allowed Beth to get in there for a fourth. This is the attempted hit and roll to the forefoot for the single. There's the hit, there's the roll, rolling maybe a bit too far. Sorry, Krista. And how far did that roll? Yeah, that's a steal of three. Yep. So Beth Peterson cruising yep. Again. and looking good to improve to four and three. Sorry. No, it's good. Are we done? Are we done? Good end, guys. I wasn't going to speak that either. Out looks more yeah, natural. natural to me just with how my end Oh, the double and roll is there. Okay. Okay. I don't think we've tried to roll. Yeah, roll first. Even nose is fine. Normal or control? Don't even mind that. Sure. Sure. Okay. It's just tough. I don't want to take them under. Okay. Well, a little bit of surprise at that normal? last end control? with Rachel coming up yeah, a normal? little bit short, and okay. so you have to balance front, way, wanting to get those two back quickly with going too hard. Trying to make sure that they can utilize the two corner no. guards that they've thrown. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not normal. Normal. Close. Yep, hard. Whoa. Yep, hard, hard, no roll. Great shot, Sarah. Well done. Good. Objective was never to remove all those stones. It was mostly to clear a path to get to the corner and also around. Just the one? I think so. Battle being won by this young lady this morning so far. Yep. yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, yep. That's good. Stay with the yellow, Shona. Nice peel from Margot. I don't like it's just hard with the doubles because we're, if we're doing that work. I don't think a lot of ice. Uh, it's close. Because even if you roll behind the guard, it's good. Okay. Okay. See that Scotty's necklace? You're given that by winning a province no. or a territory, and they put diamonds in it when you repeat. No, no. Oh. Not provided this year because no, no it's way. not about getting no. to the show. That necklace represents a win good, from your province. And because of such a unique year, those were not given to everyone for just being here because many were just in, in like an invite. <sighs> not a lot of playdowns. There's just a Very sprinkle of them. Few. Trying to okay. flip behind that corner. And trying to have separation between the yellows as well so that they're not something that Rachel can utilize. Now, some very good numbers this morning from both thirds. We talked about Joanne in the 60s the last three games has really brought her numbers up. And Emma coming in with lower numbers than you would expect from a player of her caliber, just not firing on all cylinders as she usually does the entire yeah. event and some yeah. great numbers this morning. You knew with a player yeah. like Emma that it would just take a comfort yes. of a couple of days on this ice before she would start to really produce gotta some go, great gotta shots. Go gotta go hard. Roll, 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 go. Great spot. No one until they curl. No one until they curl. No. Same way. Control. Was that good control? Yeah. yeah. So looking to hit and to roll out to the wings. Want to be second shot, but also want a lot of separation. Whoa. Joanne oh. more recently yeah. a silver at Canadian Seniors in yeah. 2017 in Hard Fredericton. Hard Margo. Hard. Trying to hold the line for her and she'll drive it by. And we have the two-time Canadian more Champion in the field and Sorry, Sherry Anderson for seniors. 
sorry, Joe. Even at the hog line, we were still on half a rock. <laughs> no, that's fine. I think it was a little lighter yeah. than my first one. That was a... Yeah, that was Out, right? You think it's going to fall? Okay. Okay, you got it. No, well, the think you think it's going to fall. You saw Rachel nodding her head, expecting some considerable weight from Emma. They they won't move a lot, and because of how they set stones at the end, close, 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 they will run straight. Close. Yep. Yep. Hard. Really hard. Hard. Clips the yellow. And, you know, you talk about the entire team and what a pickup this guy was as Randy Furby coaching, six-time Briar champ, four-time world champ as Marcel Rock unable to be here because of his teaching duties and you look at the resume. I didn't realize he won at Augusta in 2006. <laughs> Amazing. It's <laughs> uh, pretty funny. But Randy, obviously, such a well-known name and a household name and had a great chat with him last night about this team. And Randy says that the work ethic of this team, it's crazy. The time and effort that they put in. He said, you know, when we played, yeah, we put in a lot of time and effort. But this team lives and breathes curling 24-7. They analyze everything. He's been so impressed with the business side of this team and how serious they take it. And Randy said he's kind of been kicking around for the last six months. He was thrilled and jumped on the opportunity to coach. And... He says it's really involved. You know, when, when he played, coaching was important, but he really feels, if you look at the, the coaches in this field, the alternates, it's former champions, men yes. and women. And he said, you know what? He'd consider Nine coaching five. maybe down the line. I asked him if Nine he's five. maybe yep. caught the coaching bug a little bit. And he said if the situation was right, something he'd be interested in. Well, it is a lot of work, but at this level right hard, now. Hard, 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 hard. Well, done. Perfect. At this level Very right now for Randy Furby, what he's brought to the team and timeouts, I've really liked. I remember Marcel Rock saying that they've decided that when Marcel comes out for a timeout, he's going to give them his opinion right off the top. Here's what I think. And you hear the same thing from Randy. He gives them a couple of options, gives them his preference so that they're very clear, and it's a really well-utilized timeout. But if they make a good well, game, they have a just really great numbers. There something. is no plus to either, and that's why we've got such a tight game. Both skips going toe to toe with each other. Let go nose. Player Pick comparisons are brought to you by New Holland, it. proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Rachel Homan came into this game with a plus five rating, and it has only been Kerry Galusha so far out of all of the teams that this Ontario team has faced. That is not let Rachel Homan have an edge on her. Okay. Not yet. Yeah. Straight through. It shouldn't do much. Yeah. Um, so she might get the double here. Now look at that. Mm -hmm. oh. Games oh. one through five, just one stolen end allowed and two Joe? today. Joe, Joe. Run back try, she'll pick the yellow. Little separation as well. well. She was looking for the double. She got one. But now important for Carrie Galusha to not only stick, but to make sure that the double yeah, is not there. So she can roll a little sweet. bit. Actually, a nose yeah. might make it the five? toughest. Yeah, I think so. I like it. Okay. You're sweet, Margo. I don't think I've thrown an out turn yet. <laughs> Other than that draw. Your big draw. Yeah, your draw. <laughs> this should run, shouldn't it? I think so. Uh, it'll curl up a bit at the end. But yeah. what do you throw in, like nine? nine yeah. I think yeah. it'll just be gradual. Yeah, just a gradual. Okay, make sure we nose it. Yeah. Or a little roll's not bad, I don't think. I think you're better with a nose carry. The roll starts to make it a little bit more, well more enticing and I think easier to make the double for Rachel Holman. A nose is a little bit more difficult. Yeah, gotta go. Hard, yeah. hard, hard, hard. Gary Galusha go. has hard. curled a brilliant hard. game thus far, trying to keep the heat on. Hard, hard, hard. 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 Team Ontario. Whoa, 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 roll it big, roll big, 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 big. And now the audible trying to roll it over, but that will okay. cue up the double. Shoot. Sorry, still a little tight. <laughs> 
It's okay. Not quite 9.5 either. Um, it's like the worst roll. I think I her weight was ever. pretty close. What is a little down. concerning is often in the hack, That's she seems to be down. questioning the ice. And I think that when you don't have a lot of confidence that the broom is in the right spot and you know the weight that you're throwing, the tendency could be if you don't Just think it's through. quite enough ice, you put it a little bit out. And if you think it's maybe too much, you thought it would run really straight. So you just subconsciously help it a little bit by letting it come out of your hand rather than throwing. And that's, I feel, what's kind of got into yep, yep, carry yep, a little bit on that last shot. Double for two. So a chance to bounce back and score her second deuce of the game. Bottle stone, Rachel Holman, bang, bang, two on the board. In a back and forth game this morning, as we're all tied up at five, the three-time Scotty's champ level with Kerry Galusha. Shona Barber leads stones for Team Northwest Territories. In a 5-5 tie, you see they've traded twos. A steal of two and seven from Kerry Galusha. Two back in eight from Rachel Holman. So here in nine in a 5-5 tie, Kerry Galusha with hammer throwing the yellow stones. And this one slides, but does hang on back 12 for Shona Barber. Oh, what path do you, you've just okay. seen that. Okay, let's play the out. Um, what are you throwing? Eight. eight. Little, like, Could I throw the other rock? No, if you go to the back, it's okay. So okay. Just a little extra. Ashona coming okay, deep so be there. Yeah. means that the Ontario team yeah. can come around. Okay. Would love to force Kerry Galusha here in this ninth end and have last rock coming home. And you heard Rachel call down uh, to Sarah just on what number rock you're throwing. Yes. And that's all part of the details. Maybe seven. one curls more, maybe Eight a rock seven. is straighter, maybe oh, one's wait. a cutter. It's most Switch. likely. Switch! Whoa, whoa, take a look. And it's often heavy. it is in the pre-event oh, practices hard. that the team Hard-up. matches Heads the down. stones, oh, but this it. year, hard. the focus for Bang. all teams was hard. just throwing hard. the rocks and getting oh, that hard. groove back on. And they have been matching the stones now yeah. as the games have gone on. We just had to wait a beat for line anyways. And of course, these stones were used at the Briar last year. So yeah. Yeah. someone like John Epping, who played in that Briar, would have shared information with Carrie Galusha. And now John will be calling back on line one to go, hey, have they changed? So about those rocks. <laughs> And Margo drives it by, can't quite clip the other red stone. Just curling more here. Uh, similar? Okay. More? Well, we've, I feel more like we've seen this in turn draw a number of times today. Made by both skips and other players. So pretty confident about exactly what it will do. Line's good. Seven. Need T line. Stay down now. Yep. Kathy, six rookie skips this year at the Scotties, including Krista Burns, down by five here, making her debut in Calgary and trying to draw in for a single here with her final stone. Well, she does have to make a pretty good draw. You saw that stone in the full four foot. Still out there, still out there. So needs a heart. They were the selected team after Krista McCarville made the very tough decision, whether it's family, personal reasons, work, well, there's tough. many, many reasons that it was not ideal for everyone and heartbreaking, I'm one. sure, to watch. <laughs> Gets oh. her single. Yeah, I think so. And they would shake. Good game, everybody. Yeah. So. That's the part I find the most awkward. Back? We're yeah, such okay. a tradition yeah. in this sport. Yeah. You know, it's, it's one of the few that you yeah, shake hands hard. before and after, whether you feel like it or not. It's just a part of the game. And now <laughs> you... Kind of wave at people on the other side and say, I'm done, bye. <laughs> I too, hard. 
Well, you're in the bubble with me, Cass. <laughs> I'm done. Bye. <laughs> The bubble's getting smaller <laughs> by the minute. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, guys. Uh, Sorry. I know. That's what I heard, too. Well, at some point, Rachel Holman's going to have to make a move. And so for Carrie, the biggest risk is that guard out front. And so we'll continue to peel it off. Whoa, Jonah, whoa. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, stay with that. Good. Here we go, updates keep rolling, sheet D. And Carrie Anderson, a chance to improve to 6-0, and taking on Laura Eby, looking for win number one. And final stone coming from the defending Canadian champ. Well, you saw that Carrie was already shot, but she has an opportunity for three here in this ninth end if she's able to nose the biter outside. Loses the shooter, but scores the pair. <laughs> As Evie actually stole right. the first three points in this game for a 3 nothing advantage, but it's been all Canada ever right since. Hard. 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 Both of you go. Go, go, go. Hard. Reach the center. Hard. Both go, on go, one go, side go, trying go, to really go, directionally go. pull that stone right on top and successfully done. <laughs> and that is not only about... Sweeping, it's Thank about footwork to move over. to get to the like same it. side and be close enough to each other that it makes a difference with the brushing. And a timeout has been called. Second timeout for Kerry Galusha. So again, blanking. Jim Wade. So, yeah, no, not we'll with come these out. two back here. I mean, we could like, sit what too. If we, if we play this, they're just going to come here. Yeah, or we might leave a double. What about a corner freeze? But here? even if they come here, is it the end of the world if we give up one? I was thinking that actually, that it's we not just, bad. Are you? Would you rather take one or give right up one? Now they're probably just going to tap, and then I'm going to have to blast. Mm -hmm. What if I go here? Do you like Jim? We're not blanking. Pardon? We're not blanking anymore. No, you're not blanking. What if <laughs> what you shift it and roll over I'm here? I'm thinking this. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. She might play the hit and roll, or she might. Because if you peel again, they're probably going to tap and be freeze and frozen. Well. Sorry, I'm worried of leaving them a double. If you how much can I actually peel, see? they're going to tap. Yeah, I don't think we need to peel. Yeah, we're not. Gonna no, we don't. We're not. Well, I'd tip that and go to here, lay the, right to there, lay the two. I'd like, yeah, I'd like to sit right for there. second shot. Yeah, I agree. And you'd lay two. We're not leaving them a double. We are. Well, we might be, but... But I don't think that's the end of the world. It'll be... What fun. else are you thinking? Like, no, we can't... We, we're going to give them a shot either way. She's yeah. either going to come here or if she'll If we do double. this, then she's We can't that. take away everything. Play the tap and roll over here. What's Got weight it. call? Board. I think hack. Like, this will finish. Yeah. Hack? Well, a good so. discussion. Okay. And Carrie's I absolutely agree, right. Carrie. You're not blanking oh, yeah. at this point. So yeah, the question yeah. really was, do you yeah. peel that guard again? We don't want to... If you peel soft. the guard again, oh, Rachel's either going to tap Make sure we get the front or play the corner in. freeze. And now you're trying to bail. And what I thought was really important that Carrie said is, worst case scenario, we give up one. Is that bad? And many would say that in a tie game, if you, you know, it's a six of one half dozen of another. Do you, want, do you want to come home down one more. with last rock or do you want to be up yeah, one? Just stay here. At this point, I don't even, I, I don't rule out the fact no, that Carrie Galusha could like score a couple. Straight away. Yeah. But what you call really will indicate whether you're prepared to have Rachel Holman put the pressure on you or you put the pressure on Rachel Holman. It'd be great to be up by six coming home well, with Hammer if you had the choice. No timeout necessary. Hard, 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 hard. By the guard. And just yep. drives it by. Good sweep, Shona. Avoids the yeah, jam. Really good, just finished too hard after the hog line. Well, a good draw by Rachel good. Holman ball. will take away the benefit of both of those yellow stones. And that's the problem when you are behind the T line. Yeah, I want to see if anything I hear more. See if we can bump it. A bit. Like, it's not going to be better now. Do you yeah. like that same weight that I throw? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Can we tap it? A, like, if the line's yeah, good. Okay. If the line's, if the line's good. good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like the reach. We're on the tee. Like another foot? Can I, I think another foot will be fine. Okay.
Skip Stones here in nine. Little light. Go ahead, nine. Five, six. Yep, yep, go. Yep, yep. oh. Rachel Holman trying to lock one in behind only. cover. In a 5-5 tie, hammer belonging to Carrie Galusha. Hard, hard, Push! Big! Go! Hard! Hard, Joe, go! As they switch again, Joe has Courtney trying to drag it in for shot stone and not quite shot stone, but in a good spot. Real close. It is. Nice grab. Yeah. And over on sheet D, it is Team Canada basically running Team Yukon out of rocks. So they remain undefeated, Team Canada, and rolling in yeah. Calgary. It will be hard to keep it straight, so. Okay. Okay, 12. So this looks like a hack weight. I like similar weight to Joe's. Yeah. That was pretty good hack, eh? Like maybe a hair. Yeah, it was 11.5. Okay. I don't want to under throw it. Yeah, I agree. We can always finish it. I'm thinking Come down, same weight as you, Joe. Tap stone out. Okay. And leave here. You're going to leave Rachel home in the same draw. Yeah. But that is pretty precise. That's why I'm not sure I have enough weight or ice. And all of a sudden there's going to be three yellow in the house. Let's make it. Bit more than yours. No, no, no. no. More line. Carrie Galusha, no. her first Pack. in nine, Pack. trying to play that Bit up. out turn tap. Margo. Bit up. Yes. In the meantime, we'll update you sheet B, Zacharias Brothers. And off her own, Carrie Galusha, still shot stone though. Rachel Holman, meantime, brothers Mine's delivering, good. trying to pick up a single. Emma in. Yep. Yep. Line's good. Line's, Line's good. Holding. It's all you. Whoa. Line's good. It's Take all you. Look. It's curling pretty good now. It's curling to here. In a 5 4 lead from the team from the Altoona yep. Curling Club curling in Manitoba, Mackenzie Zacharias. You see the house come into view. You see that red stone that shot in the eight foot. And you see that yellow top four for a single. <laughs> So 5-5 five, five after 9. Not a lot of handle on that. It's really tough, yeah. Also. Well, just to be really clear on what happened like, that last end, we'll take a look at here. what happened. Yeah, like you're kind of going to over curl you, you, if you get there. You're going to, but is that bad? Um, she can Carrie was trying to play hack weight, just hung out a little bit. Ooh. I don't see. This is always gone. Okay. Time out, Ontario. Because if, especially if I'm here, like okay. this is definitely cl clearing that. What if she probably like loses her shooter? Similar um, spot. She's right. And right here is pretty good. Okay. But there's Pass. pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> like it has to be all the way there. Yeah. So this has got to be just where. here. We can touch this here and sit there. Do you want to pass the deuce though? Because it could give her a slash. Sorry. If we're here. You yeah. To give her what? Um, if we're right here. I think you go. I think it just jammed. I think you go right side by side, almost. Yeah. And then we're shot too. Yeah. 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 Side by side is so pretty anywhere, good. Where's the only place we can't be? Split. We just we can't, can't be, be like splitting tea. Well, you can't be even because she just smashes it for two. And so if there, we have to get to the back, and you can even tap yeah. it a little. And here's okay. fine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And we have to be shot over this. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So this is where your last one was. Same spots. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Same shot. Seven. Good. Thanks, mm -hmm. Randy. Guys, if, if it's deep and it's curling, it's even's okay. We just can't be like glued to okay. it even, right? So okay. if we're crossing center, we have to be deep. They don't want to be right beside it because you play right beside it. Carrie hits this on the outside. This goes there, that goes there. And all of a sudden it's a couple. So trying to throw back where she was before is she's tucked in underneath and beside, but not touching. And line two, pressure flips pretty hard to Carrie Galusha. Just a foot more for you guys. Okay. Do you like be that? polished up now? I think I'll be a hair wider. Okay. 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 Six, seven. 
Lean in. Yep. Line's seven. Good. Line's good. Easy. Easy. Oh. Out there. Six, seven. Easy. No. Seven. No. So for seven. now, it is Rachel yes. Holman, Ontario yes. shot stone. Go. 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 Without hammer here in nine. Go. Don't need to finish. Get it there. Go. Fight the go. body hard. Go, go, go. Come on, go. And not Ooh. far enough, I don't think. I don't wow. think so. It had to be, that you heard Rachel say, that stone had to outcount that yellow. Is this not a hit for three now? Take another look just to be sure, Kathy. Well, they waited Seven. a long time Seven. because Seven. it was running Seven. out there, Brian. Yep. We gotta go. We gotta go. And so go. then they go. It's not a question of line at this point. It's a question of weight. Get it there. Fight the body hard. Go, go, go. Hard, go. Okay, this is going to bust big. So you, you tap it back. It's two for sure. Is it three, though, Kathy? I think so. Yes. Yeah. That's why you heard Rachel like say that that red that she threw in had to outcount that top eight. one. Yeah. But just stay close for the bust. Yeah. You got it, Carrie. Well, it's edge to edge for that. Carrie from the hack. But what an opportunity here. Final stone in nine and a chance for a three point back. cushion. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. The intern tap back on the way for oh, Carrie Galusha. Straight up. Really hard. Oh, hold it. Got to hold the line. First things first, have to get it by that red stone, and they clip it, but they hit it. Two for sure. Did they move that red stone, though, in enough? I don't know. We can have a better look. Definitely two. That red jiggled a little bit. Can we measure? Yeah, and they're going to put a stick to it. I thought it would three for sure, but it hit that red. It did touch it. It it a little bit. I really have to go see my glasses. Okay. <laughs> it's a good time to see, Gary. Uh, there's, there's the, the little touch. And the, you saw the yellow one move a little bit to your left. Okay. To push it out just a little bit. You never know what that But obviously the two is massive, Kathy. Oh. Well, the two is huge. Three is Three massive. Is Three will be a tough mountain for Rachel Holman to climb in 10. And as part of the safety protocols, the thirds cannot enter the area with the official without each wearing a mask. And so Joanne Rizzo just running down to get hers. Let's see how close it is this time, Michelle. I thought I was watching your updates that we actually had a tie this week, We Kathy. did. We did. We had a tie. Which means they were just kicked out, correct? Uh, not, yeah, not it, it was declared as a blank. So should that happen in this no, case, Carrie would get oh. the two that she was awarded. <laughs> but if they can't the decide, in, it, it is declared a tie. And they had two different officials measure it about eight times last night and could not discern who was closer. Yep, it's red already. It is red. Yeah, so it is red. Two yellow. So two yellow. Regardless, a great end for Carrie Galusha to pick up the pair with Hammer. So when we come back, Team Ontario down by two, trying to stay undefeated. We've got a good one here, Kathy, in our morning feature. You see twos in the last three ends, the stolen two and seven for Kerry Galusha, the answer back for Rachel Holman in eight. And after a measure, we thought it could be three. Just a pair for Kerry Galusha, but she leads 7-5 as Ontario with hammer here in 10, throwing the Red Stones in danger of their first loss at this year's Scotties. Three, not for close. Running right now. Four, Four. in? Oh. Maybe. We're in. The line's oh. really good. Four. Five. Four. It's probably going to overcurl. Five, six. Thank you, Bryce, for this. Well, there is a yellow stone out of play at the back, and that was not a throw through. In fact, it was removed, and we'll show you why. 
You heard that little clunk, and Margo says, I touched the stone. And so when you touch a running stone, you admit, and it gets removed. So Margo tries to make amends here, throwing whoa, 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 the stone, whoa, whoa, whoa. and she'll lose the shooter. Good. Which is okay for her. The what biggest key was now? getting that stone out of there. Because I don't like, I don't want to. So Rachel has that corner guard to utilize, Wait, asking bad. Sarah Wilkes to come around. So the switch, why, Kathy? Well, because they're Sorry, trying to make it Sorry, move a little going, bit going, more. So the brusher that's closer, hard. that's Sarah, finish that's why hard, Joanne hard, flipped hard, as well. Hard. They're trying to do du double guards and have them lined up so there is no double removal. Get some balls. And the concern was that it wasn't going to finish enough. And the more stagger, the easier it is to remove both. There's not a lot of separation between the two, so potential there for Margo. Margo Fleming, one, two, and she's got them both. Nice Good, shot. Oh, wonderful shot. Not only removes them both, but gets her own out of play. Well done. There you go. All gone, and, and good movement to ensure to stay with the shooter and roll that as far away as you can. Yep, yeah, line. Six. Freeze it. Five. Got it here. Yep. We're close. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, switch. Yep, switch. Oh. Yep. 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 Okay. Now Rachel's going to try to utilize any stone that she has, so it would not break Carrie's heart at all if Joanne is able to remove the red, clips the yellow on the way by, and clears the house. No. It's not peel. Clean it. Clean it, yep. Good. Joanne Rizzo, bang. Good job. Trying to run Ontario out of rocks here in 10. Well, she's had a lot of success throughout her career. And look at that, undefeated in some of those gold medal wins. That was the Women's Worlds in 2017, that perfect run in Montreal. And even at the Canadian Juniors in 2010. Perfect. Very impressive. Back 12, six, seven. And in each of those fields, you are playing the best of the best, not only in six, juniors, six. but in women's and in worlds. Five, five. And to roll through undefeated is quite an accomplishment. Okay, leave it a guard, I guess. Leave it a guard. Again, was trying to play the freeze. That was the audible to stop. To keep as much separation between those two stones as they can. So that Rachel's happy if Carrie just peels off the top at some point. Expecting to make a freeze, yeah, something that Carrie yeah. cannot get out. Joanne Rizzo, hard, one more hard. time. Hard. This hard, time right clips right the over, yellow. Right over, right over. And no one's <laughs> sweeping. Good sweep. A little tighter. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Come on. Oh, ah, shoot. We kind of ticked it through Sorry, the right spot. Different throw. Oh, no. Sliding tight on you. It's okay. So Emma Miskew Five. trying to play yeah, down to that yellow stone behind the T-line in the 12-foot. Gotta go. Gotta go, line. <laughs> Leave it. Wow, that is really breaking and light. Yeah, that one carving over. Meantime, update time, sheet B, and the game coming down to this after a timeout from Nova Scotia and Jill Brothers. 
Able to put four in the house. However, one to come. Hammer belonging to this young lady right here in her Scotty's debut. Mackenzie Zacharias, final stone. Yes. Needs to hit and stick around yes. to pick up the win. Well, Joe yes. Brothers was trying to throw a guard on her final stone, but it overcurled and came in to allow Mackenzie an easy weight hit and to stick. And there she is. Perfect. Good Good luck. She'll hit and stick around. And that is tough right, loss sorry. number five for Jill Brothers. Good luck. As Mackenzie improving to two and four. And a nice smile from the youngster and a high five as they pick up a win on Sheepy. Good game, guys. Good game. But I think it should be okay, shouldn't it? Might just dig in the house, but I think. Okay, so just stay close. Yeah, so what you've been throwing, I well, you can hear that little bit of an uncertainty in, in Carrie, and I understand why when the last couple of stones thrown by Ontario have come light, you start to wonder, oh, are the paths hard. breaking yes. down? You don't want to throw a guard. That helps okay. Rachel. You don't want to go deep. That's that helps four, Rachel. Running. You've got six Keep feet to work down, with four. in the house. Yep. It's really going. Yes, got to be Let's four foot. Hard. Go. We're close. Yep, come on. Hard. Line. Right up. Uh, Carrie's made some nice draws throughout this morning's feature matchup. Another one right there to lie to. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, it went sideways out of your hand. I just don't know if I'm like second. She was over. Speed will run different. Yeah. How much are you guys thinking? It's hard to know what happened with Emma's. I know. Yeah. Like, you need back line if Emma's was truly... I well, thought she was kind of 4-5. You guys were calling, like, 7 out of the hand, and it was biting 12 foot. So it's pretty sludgy, probably. Okay. So I think back line. line. So Rachel trying to corner freeze on the stone that is behind the corner. The top eight, top four. And you hear again, just trying to get some confirmation. They called 7 out of Emma's hand, and then it stopped. So just trying to figure out what she's throwing for weight and also reminding the sweepers that it may not go as far as you think it does if it gets out into some of the wings that is worn down. Look, eight, switch. She's too much. Close. Yep, yep. That can't bounce. We're not even on it. No, can't. Needs to curl up trying to put this stone in a good spot and it will be wide open here for Kerry Galusha. Make it go away, and you pick up your first ever win at the Scotties versus Rachel Homan, as you saw on the television screen. All right, guys. I like Rachel that Rachel 4 all time coming in versus some... Carrie Galusha. A great weight by Rachel. That was not the issue. It just didn't get that finish. I don't know. Keep your Should run nice. Yeah, keep your weight room. Ice conditions. A foot higher is kind of nicer with that line. You got it. Yeah, let's do it, Carrie. How's that hurt? Big Please. moment here in 10. Yeah. Final yeah. stone, yeah. up by two, yeah. Carrie Galusha. Yeah. Hard, Margo. hard, hard, hard. Trying to run the three-time Scotty's champion Please. out of Please. stones, Carrie. and she is perfect. Okay. Away it goes, and a win. Okay. Good game. Yeah. Good, Good, luck. Good luck, you guys. Undefeated no more as Good Rachel number. Holman, her first loss at this year's Scotties in Calgary. Well, it was one of those games. We talked about Carrie, how she's thrown an 86 game in her second, has gone up and down, but no one rises to the occasion more than Carrie Galusha when she's playing a giant. And some wonderful shots today, starting from the very first end. Jennifer Jones, Heather Nedowin, <laughs> Amber Holland, and now Rachel Holman, Carrie Galusha. What a performance and what a win. Making everyone back home up north very proud at the Yellowknife Curling Center, keeping her championship hopes alive. We'll step aside and come back after this. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. By Home Hardware, here's how. By Sponge Towels Paper Towels, made for real life messes. And by OK Tire and BKT Tires.
Exciting feature matchup this morning. Kathy, time for the game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. Well, a wonderful game to watch no matter who you were cheering for. And it started with a clutch draw by Carrie Galusha in the fourth end. That would lead to a steal. And then in the ninth, she had an opportunity, made that hack weight shot for two and ran Rachel Homan and her team out of rocks and some wonderful numbers from both teams, both skips. As Carrie Galusha improving to three and three, keeping her championship round of eight hopes alive and the first loss at this year's Scotties for the three-time Scotties champion Rachel Holman. Holman Anderson still have qualified already for the championship round of eight and Team Canada defending champs the only undefeated team remaining and look over at Pool B Kathy. Yeah. It is a log jam top four will advance bringing their records with them with that round of eight starting on Friday. So in the meantime, our feature matchup this afternoon, it will be Jennifer Jones, your six-time Scotties champion, 3-2 and two record. Suzanne Bird also at 3-2, and two, former bronze medalist at the Scotties. Today, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time as Vic Router, Cheryl Bernard, Russ Howard, Kathy Goche back in the booth. They will have you covered. It is the 40th anniversary like of the Scotties. Yeah. Great sponsorship partner in Kruger Products. Supporting women's curling here in Canada, the national championship in Calgary as we're at hump day, way, Wednesday right? of our Scotty's coverage. We thank you for joining us on behalf of myself, Kathy Goche, our crew. Thanks for watching the Scotty's here on TSN from Calgary.